Hollywood, California, in the secret confines of Meltdown Comics back room. Harmontown is now in session. Let's bring out our game master, Mr. Spencer Crittenden. And just for good measure, our mayor, Mr. Dan Herman. Spencer, why don't you talk to Jeff for a second? Hey, Jeff. Uh, is that your musical choice? That was really good. God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> Stop the show! <laughs> you, you, you dropped the chicken tongues. You dropped the chicken tongues? <laughs> D- uh, Sp- Spencer, uh, right, right now, while Dan tries to make himself yeah. a drink, right now, what geopolitically is bothering you the most right now? Geopolitically? Like, like what, 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 what in the world... Oh, man. I, I'm going to do a segment called What in the World is Bothering Spencer Right Now? The viol- gang violence in Mexico. For, for real? Yeah, it's not a, not a joke. <laughs> I, I was thinking about it. It would be if it. you had told us in advance and we could uh, uh, prepare the appropriate theme music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Violence in Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Uh, t- t- uh, get us up to date with, with what's going on in Mexico I right now. I think it's mostly still just the same stuff, you know? Like, the gangs are just fucking shooting everyone all the time. There's just shootouts in the streets. I mean, it's just violence. Nonstop. Drug wars. War on drugs. War on crime. You know, our war on drugs isn't helping. I'll tell you that right now. I don't think stopping the war on drugs would solve the problem, though. I'll be honest. I've always said, why not a war on spiders? (laughs) Drugs don't dangle down on string and go into your mouth while you're sleeping. (laughs) They don't don't lay a million eggs and, and crawl around with them on their body and then scatter. They don't have tiny green reflections in their eyes that you can see if you shine a flashlight. Yeah. I've been on Reddit a lot this weekend <laughs> because I was I was supposed to write and I fi- I finished I finished the script but but not until I had gone down all these the the things that I'll do to keep from writing are like so like like I would I I I, I like I, in my third hour of of like investigating going down the the rabbit hole of Sandy Hook conspiracy theories. <laughs> I was, I was like, I was like, you'd rather you just you you're you're in you're you're surrounded by dead children, like like in your mind rather than working, like you're and and, and you're you're like what like, is like the lock- leading what's the leading conspiracy theory on Sandy Hook? The, the, these people are, I, I'm sorry, gang, but you're bad people. Like I don't I, I don't I don't know why I'm apologizing to them. I guess because like, but it, I mean here's the thing: some people love their guns so much that and you you're, you're like like 20 kids for your gun, and they're like they're like, well, that's a lot of kids. Too bad that hasn't happened. Uh, you know, and and so you're like, no, it just happened, and they're like, show me a picture, show me a picture of the twenty kids, and we're like, that's gross, uh, and they're like, no gun, like conspiracy. Wait, the, 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 they think the conspiracy is that it didn't really happen. They think it didn't happen, or that it was perpetrated by. Because the uh, conspiracy but, but theories and, have and, the luxury and, of going from the end result. So anything is like anything that would service ultimately, for instance, an anti-gun agenda. Then you can just write backwards your conspiracy. You can Rube Goldberg to, and you and you don't even need to do that because you can just go, "Hi, hey, how come this woman's name is Cheerio?" But when you look at the Cheerios box, it says no trans fat. <laughs> But then look at what this guy in CNN is saying. Like, there's a fine line between conspiracy theory passion and just absolute schizophrenia. Like, like, just just noticing connections, connecting dots. Like, do you, do you have a conspiracy that you adhere to? Is, is there a, a a thing that you think that there might be a conspiracy on? I do. I, because I haven't researched it, I do. <laughs> I, I am quite fond of the idea that. Uh, uh, Who's the, who's the original? The Honeycomb uh, Hideout was actually a terrorist cell. William, William, Will, William Randolph Hearst and the Dupont Company. That that the reason pot was vilified was because um, hemp would have made paper cheaper and didn't need to be chemically treated by Dupont the right way and all that stuff. Like like the pot. I like the pot stuff. 
I, 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 I believe that stuff. Like, I, I mean, I definitely, because the, the real conspiracy is that you can track all drug legislation in the United States to, like, there was this crazy depressing documentary about it. The, 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 that drug policy is linked, like, kind of inexorably throughout our history to racial politics. So, like, if you have a lot of Chinese labor in your country, it's like, it's, it, you know, opium becomes illegal because there's a culture to this drug that they bring in with them. Um, it's something that they're, that, that they're using that they brought with them you you make it illegal so you're effectively making it possible to kick in their doors anytime you want or do anything you want like like you that that drug policy has always made a handy like like leash on any group that we've wanted to to like like just have extra power over spencer Uh, do you have have, have a a pet conspiracy theory uh uh no mate no um, Nothing? Maybe. I mean, not that I would imagine is outlandish enough to be entitled that. But, yeah, no. I'm sorry, what, what, what everybody. Do you, what, do you, what do you think that we're getting away with right now? Like that, 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 like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, feel like, like, I feel like you, Spencer, are, are, I, I can't even see you right now because Dan's standing in the way. Don't worry. They I put feel my your, mic here, man. This is where I'm supposed to stand. It's for the cameras. Spencer, are, are you saying that you think that everything's fine, that, 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 that there's no... There's no conspiracies in the world that we're not getting away with anything. Well, I mean, I'm sure there's lots of conspiracies. I just don't know about them. Like, I mean, there's corruption all over Asia, right? Just in the government? <laughs> like, Go those on. could be called conspiracies. I mean, I don't have what, specifics. Give, I just, give, give me some Asian corruption. Like, lay some well, Asian corruption. Well, I mean, corruption like, Chinese them. officials, they just bribe people and they do housing projects. And, I mean, there's just illegal stuff. Like, you read about it. Right. If you like Asian corruption, <laughs> getting caught in the rain. <laughs> I'm a syllable guy. I like syllables. <laughs> I like to notice when things will fit like that. Um, all right. So, okay. So, game changer. I, I already talked it out in the green room. Here's a new segment called I Talked It Out in the Green Room. <laughs> hey, talk it out. Filled with joy, and it's gonna trickle down to you, and you'll be bored. I, the v- VR technology is here, Jeff. It's here. It's here. It's here. It's uh, uh, the, the 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 Valve Valve has won. They have crossed the finish line in the first like leg of the race to have consumer level VR be amazing. Like I just finished. I came from Justin Roiland's house, and uh, he has like the, the one of those Valve things. He's like a developer for a, it. A Valve? V- Valve. Valve is a Valve is a video game company that okay. that that they've always been like on the bleeding edge, Jeff. The bleeding, cutting, bleeding edge. edge. Not not the leading edge. The bleeding edge. Okay. Their 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 edge was 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 razor sharp and caused a lot of bleeding. Now, <laughs> we've gotten to the point because of virtual technology, their edge is now bleeding. Like they don't even need to cut things anymore. Okay. That's when you're so out, far out in front. There's nothing to cut. Well, then make the edge bleed. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. I trust him with my life. That's how. That's the ship they're running at Valve. <laughs> They've always been there. I, I. This is not a. This is not a paid statement. Like I. Uh, it I, sounds like it. Well, uh, tough titties for Walter Mitty's. Uh. <laughs> now, Dan, explain who Walter Mitty is for these people. <laughs> <laughs> they know it's Ben Stiller. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, they know. <laughs> Can that be the episode title? <laughs> you guys don't know. That movie's based on an old Viewmaster reel. Um, the the uh, so 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 I'm just saying like like okay I've tried all the other shit like like the like and I'm not gonna name names because like there's gonna be a fucking thug like war between these VR companies and like Valve's gonna win. I put on the goddamn helmet and I was fucking in a virtual reality <laughs> it's not what you i mean you've you've all t- t- put on the things where you're kind of like ow it hurts my brain but i guess i'm kind of in a swiss villa like it 
it, it's 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 like and you and I like I've tried everything and I walk out f- just feeling awkward and embarrassed because it hasn't it's like still like the 90s and it's like okay yeah I guess you I guess what you've accomplished here is you have figured out a way to make a plastic helmet that that has the equivalent of a iPhone in front of my face so that when I look through it I can experience an app that you you created it's terrible and you walk out feeling really sad really sad for all the people that spent billions of dollars there's children starving in um, probably Asia for sure, right? <laughs> yeah. All the officials are taking their foods. Then you put this shit on. It's like putting a sock on your head. That that that. And the, but if but if but if the, like 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 that's a bad metaphor. It doesn't. It's 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 over, Jeff. It's over. We've crossed the new what, threshold. Was there a game that you play? Like there was what? a lot of things I played. They have like these little sample things. One of them is you're standing in a kitchen, and I'm telling you, you make soup. That's not that's not a lie. I'm telling you, that's what you do. You make soup. And the whole time you're making soup, you're like, get the fuck out of here! Because it's like the fridge and the microwave, and you're like, you're like just fucking jamming shit with your hands, and it's just like and they're and they're like and there's like a thing that's like you need to make soup, and it's like two carrots gotta go in, and you're like, there's the carrots, there's so like another carrot, you can like fucking open the fridge with your other hand, can, can, the carrot, you drop it in the pot. You can make you, soup. Can you make soup wrong or right? Like, is there, is there can, a way to measure whether you, you can, made the soup I right mean, or wrong? Well, you, you well, you don't put the right ingredients into the into the whatever container requires that thing being made. But then, yeah, after a while, you take the pot and you try throwing it at the robot that's telling you to make soup, and it's like it hits it, and you're like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> this is it's not even a game. There's no score. There's no countdown. There's no pressure. I sit on an iPad and I play games where I'm like, like you know, Natalie's diner. You gotta make a sandwich. Like, and I, I'm like, I'm, you know, Aaron, Aaron's like, D- don't you, it's four in the morning. Don't you have a shut the fuck up? <laughs> like, I, I'm, I'm, I've almost earned chopsticks. Um, this is like crazy. Like, 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 how, how is there is there a verifiable way that they, they say, okay, you made the best Reuben of all time, or are you, you're, you're, you fucked you're, it up? This guy's. A, this I, guy. I don't know. No, it's not. It's, it's not. It's that. not far enough along, Jeff. It's not. You're thinking. You're, you're, eventually, you're, you're interpreting what I'm saying to you as if this is as if the reality of making a sandwich is like right. there. It's not. It's not. I mean, it's that. simply sandwich making, but it's not about the quality of the sandwich. It's about. The- it's about your ability to interact with an actual virtual environment in a way that that has only previously been so, done so, in like okay, movies. So, so walk me through this. So you see like a stack of bread, like like, like slices it's of bread soup. Soup. No, he was no, saying fine. You don't just make soup. It's a cold kitchen. Okay. The, the, okay. The... okay. So let's say you see a carrot. You, you can walk over and grab a you carrot. You grab the fucking carrot. And do you chop the carrot up? Uh, well, you know, I bet you could, but I didn't. <laughs> it doesn't, I mean. Why didn't you chop the carrot? You, you see, you feel like you're, you're, you're investigating a soup simulator as if like, you're like, like wait, if you can't chop it up. You, what I'm telling, I'm, 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 the reason I told you. This sounds you, like a soup simulator. I, I want to know why. The, the, like, like, but I'm telling you the thing that's going to blow your mind is, has nothing to do with how accurately it simulates making soup. I'm saying you make soup. You dig? <laughs> Like it doesn't matter if it's not like like making soup. But it's you, like you make soup. But do you N word? But do you, how, how, um, first of all, don't drop an M bomb on me while I'm talking about carrots. Uh, but that's the only word that could do, possibly do, express like, like how, my to p- how, probably punctuate so my. Walk me through, like wh- what is the like, how specific do you get? Like you grab an onion and do you cut the onion? You just or? drop it in a pot. I'm telling you, it's no more sophisticated on the level of... Dropping an onion in a pot is not making a soup. (sighs) This guy, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is the thing. This is the crazy thing about it is, it's not, it's like, like... But you're you're a Minecraft guy. Wouldn't you like to be able to chop up and, like, like, like get rewarded for dicing the onion perfectly or, or not, like... No, no, man. No. Minecraft is like low fi and high function. That's exactly the okay. thing. Thank you for pr- proving my point. For wandering into my demon's life. I don't know. I, I don't play these games. Um, anyways, whatever. That, what's that, what's the controller? Is it your body? Right now it's still just like Wii sticks basically, like but they have their own. Okay. But 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 they can easily it's just a matter of expenditure, you know, like like they can easily make like you know, the, easily, like based on what you're doing, like uh, it's a it's like really cheap, like fucking see, glove see, that you could like grab the carrot. But you, but you, you just and it's real. It's a real carrot. But but, but you're and dropping. I picked you're, up a knife and I went. You're like dropping this. a carrot. <laughs> see, that's what I'm talking about. 
and I, I kept doing it, well, and I was like, I was scared. I was like, what if it? What if blood flies out? Right. That, that's what I meant. When you hold the knife, what what is the knife's function? Is, is it an actual? Can you the chop? Ni- I probably could have chopped carrots. Yeah. Okay. I bet that's possible. All I right. didn't try. I was but, in there right. five minutes, and then they put me somewhere else, and then they put me somewhere else. Right. Shit is yeah, crazy. Yeah. But your your first instinct was to see if whether or not you could slit your own throat with a with knife. <laughs> <laughs> but see that if you have a real knife and you, and you, you hold it to your throat, you should just pass out and die, right? Uh, like, like that, that, right, that would be one of the many great applications <laughs> of, of virtual reality is is um, loopable suicide. <laughs> yes. Um, I mean, believe me, we're, we're, we're coming up on crazy days. Like, like we're going we're gonna to go right – talk about whiplash. We're going to go from the days of – and I'm not making fun of anybody for I'm – not, I'm, not, I'm not one of these the guys that's like – I, I was one of these guys, and now I'm not. I'm old and I'm tired. I accept your triggers and your, and your sensitivities and everything. I love you. I support you in, in watching a TV show and being affected by it. Whoa, the TV show hurt me. Dear diary, I got hurt. Okay, now I'm making fun of you. You know what? You I heard myself. You I'm said ma- you wouldn't do it. I'm making a little bit of fun of you. Uh, but that's because my dad hit me! In front of Cheers! I didn't, I was, I was like, I don't watch Cheers and be like, okay, never mind. I'm sure your dad hit you too. W- were you ever, w- were, you, were you ever hit in front of like iconic TV or, or was it always down in the basement? Like it was, it was, it was, there's so many, so many, there was a Napoleon bobblehead going, <laughs> The, 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 and that's why I and I tried. I was like, I still got a C minus in French history. I didn't complain. So we're gonna. We're, I'm just saying we're gonna do this like whip thing because it's like it's like holy shit, dear dear uh, Hannibal season two. Like I was triggered by this thing and blah blah blah. And then it's gonna be like, listen, man. Like you can do one of eight things when you put this helmet on. Like you, can, you, there, there, you, there's like gonna be lots of ways to just hang out in there and just be like, I'm a big, uh, like a sea otter. Like I'm bouncing a, <laughs> I'm bouncing an ice cream cone with my belly. But then it's, uh, you know, there's gonna be a lot of just stab, stab, stab. Or like here's a map of my school. I don't like, like, like when people are like, devo- <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying to you. <laughs> You're not reacting to me. We're reacting to the future. <laughs> Just to make that clear. No. Like, 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 and it's going to get I'm fucking, not sure that's true. It's going to get crazy, yeah. as the kids say. They add A's now. <laughs> All right. So I've, I've, I've already talked too much. I, I, had the, I, had the, well, I did that. And then I had the, the worst Uber driver ever. Uber, Uber Corner? Uber Corner. Shit. I, I, I can't play on my <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Oh, I can't work like this. I, I, he's just a bad Uber driver, and I can't. I can't. The themes. Tell what, what was his name or her, or her name? I don't know. Uh, Step Norts. He would. He wouldn't pick me up. Outside. I was standing outside the Oyster Bar, and uh, uh, because I was, I walked from Justin. There's construction all over Sherman Oaks. So I walked to a place where there was no construction to call an Uber. I wasn't going to try to make anybody navigate construction with their Uber. That wasn't, that wasn't my goal. I took the hit. I walked to a place. I sat down. I ordered a drink. I leave only footprints. I don't hang out. I don't loiter. I don't abuse Uber drivers. I don't do anything to make anyone's life difficult. I float on the wind. I'm, I'm, I'm Forrest Gump's feather. N word again. The second, the second time that was necessary. So I call the guy, and then I get, it says your Uber's here. I go out on the sidewalk, and by the way, the fact that I had to go out on the sidewalk meant I had to pay twenty dollars because I had to. I, he came so fast that I was like, oh shit! I, well, I'll just have to leave a twenty and let him keep the change. Twenty dollar drink. So I'm already all revved up. <laughs> um, I'm out, I'm out on Moore Park, and it's hot, and I'm like, and I'm like, well, it says he's here, but he's not here. I mean, there's like, it's nothing but fucking, because of the construction, like, it's easy. God damn it. And the guy calls me, and, he, and, and it's just like, it, it, you just hear music in the background. I'm not doing any ethnicity of music at all. Like, like it was just like blanket, just like fucked up, like unmarketable mishmash. That could have been a white guy at the end. And, 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 when you left me last night, it was happy. 
Okay. Okay. The, well, Habibi. Well, but when you left me last that, night, that narrows it down. No, but that was Caucasite on the front end. All right. You can't, le- can't pin me down. You, you left me. I don't know what country you, this guy you, came you, from. You left me last night because of Habibi. Well, you left me last night because Habibi. <laughs> Beautiful red dress, Habibi. That, I okay. think that guy might be from Cincinnati. <laughs> Certainly by way of Syria. <laughs> Racist. So. <laughs> I say Habibi when there's a fish special. No, you fucking I'm, don't. I'm like, I'm like fucking. It's like it's like saying it's like saying like 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 well, like uh, Mazel Tov. Okay. I say that sometimes. I'm you know I don't give a fuck. Right. I'm a fucking I'm, I'm a white privileged conqueror. It's, it's assimilate everybody. I'm like I'm like Lahayim. Fuck it. <laughs> like oh Salou. Yeah. Fuck you. you fucking you. Saloum. Sal- Saloum. <laughs> All right. No Salou like an Italian. Oh. Salou. Racist again. <laughs> Can't tell Italians from Muslims. Okay. So, you All right, call, you, so, you, so you call the guy. It's like, uh, and he keeps going like, "I'm not, I'm not, I'm not out. I'm like, I can't. Are you at the oyster bar?" And I'm, and I'm going like, "Yeah, I'm outside the oyster bar." And he's like, "On Moore Park." And I'm like, "Yeah, on Moore Park." And I'm standing on Moore Park. And he's like, "But you're not here." And I'm like, "You're not here." <laughs> For you're not here. And and and, and he's like, "No." You're not here. And the music's like, ga, 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 ga. I was born on the 4th of July. Habibi. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm like arguing with the guy. And he's like forever. And I'm going like, like, so you're, and I look at the map and it's like Mission Impossible. I'm like, I'm zooming in on your location, sir. Right. I can see your cartoon car. Are you situated behind, all the way behind the oyster bar? And, and, and he's like, he's like, I'm an oyster bar, mud park. Like, like mad at me. Like, like, like he's like trying to get through to me. And I'm like, I'm, I, I'm on more park. I'm outside the oyster bar. I see your car. I think you're in the parking lot behind oyster bar. And while that would not normally be an issue, it's basically a block away from me because you're in the fucking parking lot. And it's like, it's Sherman Oaks. Like they do the, they're, I can't just like cut around. I don't, I just trust me. Go there, take pictures. <laughs> So eventually, I'm like, I, you're in the parking lot. And, he's like, and, and then finally, he acted exasperated. He's like, I'm, are you in the parking lot of Oyster Bar? I'm like, no. Why, would you, do I look like a car? And like, you're not. And I'm like, why would I go into the parking lot? I don't have a car. Do you think that this is how I'd react to my car being stolen? I'd be like, oh, shit, my car's gone. Boop, 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 boop. Like, like hey, let's, let's have it like, No, I would walk out onto Moor Park. Call an Uber. Go and I walk and I go and then the guy was like such a sassafras, because uh, he was like he. Now, now you're racist. Well, because I got in and so he goes he goes uh, uh, he starts driving and and he's like I cannot park on that street it's, it's, it's construction and I was like mm, I took because I know I walked there's no the construction like I didn't say Wait, anything though uh, say it again oh, I okay. said well, why do you walk there to the oyster bar because there's no construction okay, okay, I so. already took that fucking hit. If I want to hear about fucking construction, I'll close fuck Justin's house. Why are your teeth so gritty? Because I'm it? fucking angry. What are you, fucking dumb? I, I've never heard that character before where you, where you talk it's with your... It's fucking anger being restrained so I don't say something with my whole mouth. What do you want to say? I want to fucking shut up. Let it out. Let it out. Slit oh. my throat with oh. a virtual knife. <laughs> Right. So he's driving. So he goes. So he pulls one of these. And what by one of these? This is like this is the, this is a new one for me. He's he's like he's driving. and goes like oh, yeah, I kept parking on the thing. And then I'm like okay sure. And I, I I just pulled the Jody Foster on him. And I like I I, I and by that I mean I looked out the window at a world more important than him. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and 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 chose to atone with it for all the pain I've been through. Like, 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 rather than I'm not gonna stoop there. Uh, and, and, and so, f- find a camera, uh, uh, f- find the camera and, and turn the light on and, and give me your Jodie Foster, so that, that camera with the red light there. Okay, all right, here's okay. the Jodie Foster if you're outside my car window. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> now, let me do it again. Let me do it again. Right. That looked like somebody set off a cherry bomb outside the car. <laughs> all right, let me do it again. Okay. <laughs> All right. Can All right. we move on? We got it. We All got right. it. So, so the the Jody Foster's wrapped. So he goes, he goes. I pick you up there before, no? And, and I said, no, not the oyster bar, no. Or he said, he said, I drive you before, yes. That's what he said. And I said, I said, I said, well, maybe. I'm like, you're 
bald. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to go by. And he's got, and, and he's like, and many times from there. And I'm like, no, not the oyster bar, no. And he's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, like, oh, and I was like, oh, really? You pick me up at the oyster bar a lot? He's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? How, how does he think he's going to get through this debate? <laughs> like, it's, 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 and, and I'm like, I said, oh, really? So well, tell, uh, what, am I a doctor? He's like, what? And I'm like, like what? Where do I, where do I work? Tell me some more shit about myself. <laughs> And I, but I didn't say it like that. I was, I was like, oh, tell me some more shit about myself. <laughs> and, 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 and he did the scariest thing in the world. He's, he's like, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. And it, I felt like, oh, my God, the, like the Eastern European guys on the wire. He's going to kill me. I'm scared of Eastern Europeans. Racist. Fine. But fine. I would rather, I would rather be killed by any other ethnically identifiable group in the world before an Eastern European. Why? The wire. What? What? <laughs> Which, from my extensive experience as a born identity, what, 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 what kind of person would you would you if you, had to pick, I'll, I'll, I, if you had to pick the first person to kill you, who would it be? I feel like I've, honestly, I'm going to go with good old fashioned black guy. Good old fashioned black guy. Yeah, I, because oh, I, I feel mean, like I just, they're not describe him. Like, what's he wearing? What's what he look like? Mean, no, this is not fair. What you're doing to me? I'm saying I, you said that you that you you you, you would think. I'm saying as far as like I'm running through my like like simulators of if you're getting killed by an ethnic person right. like and, and, a, and, and like why are you like what is that death like consisting of I'm gonna go with uh, the the uh, black guy over the the Eastern European okay, is, but, is like okay. way now, now like I don't want to I feel you. like I would be in a warehouse and like like according to everything I've seen they first you wake up and they're like and they're like hello hello big boy. <laughs> And I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? And they're like, you take my fucking money! And like, 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 and you're like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And then there's like a crocodile, and they're pouring concrete. Like, wait, wait. Like, what? Tell, what, tell what, me, what, 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 what do black people do when they kill you oh, in the on, media? They're, they're, tell, they're, tell me about the crocodile and the, cr- and the concrete. How, I don't how, fucking how, know. How, you just scream, and then like they find your body, and David Cruz is like, looks like crocodiles eat too. <laughs> Okay, so that, that you you don't want to be you, you don't want to die by Eastern European guy, but you want to die by black guy. Because how do you think that's going to go? Like, what, what's what's the best way that you get killed by a black guy? I'm t- you're, I'm, you're trying to you're trying to make me sound racist, so no, I'm going no, I'm not. to I'm, I'm not. trying to escape that noose and say I, I, I'm not saying that. I mean, you get to pick. We're talking you, about pop cultural deaths. How do how do white men die in movies? Well, well, like, okay. and then so, you, so you, I will take one of the and the answer is if killed. There's probably a chart like if killed by black man. In movies, white man dies. How? It's not by machete. It's not by like 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 he's like you know redwood forest and he hears his wife's voice even though she's been dead for ten years and then he has to like see Satan and his fucking pores explode with heroin. Like if you, statistically on a on a bar graph of one race killing another in movies, a, if a white guy dies by a black guy, it's like a stray bullet. A stray bullet. Yeah, or so, or it's like, or it's like a, it's like Patrick Swayze or something. It's like, okay, Dan, like okay. I love my wife so much. Hey, man, give me your money. Hey, let's be reasonable. Oh, oh, I love my wife. Okay, so it's easy. It's it's easy. It's soft and easy. It's like it's like Shakespearean. I, I just realized my, my pen lights up. Uh, okay, so you, you, Dan, you, you get to write your own death. Uh, like, 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 play along with me here. It's a death by another person. It could be a man. It could be a woman. It's one person. What race? You get to pick. I get to pick the race? Yes. You, Black guy. You, you, okay. We did this okay, segment. No, 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 but h- how do you want that death to happen? Like you, the, you get to pick. You, you die because somebody else kills you. It could be a man or a woman. You've already picked black man, right? Right. Right, sure. Well, okay. I'll pick. I'll go black woman. Okay. Well, you. you, you, you I like that. That's you, good. You, you, you I pick, deserve that. You can pick anything. Else. <laughs> I deserve that more. I like black women. How would you like to die? You get to pick the race, the gender, the whole right. thing. You get, you get to, you okay, well, then I guess I'm at the bank, and uh, I'm like, uh, here's uh, my golf fund. And then, um, and then she comes in, and she's got a big afro, and she's like an like a olive jacket, and she's like... You know, like, 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 hot, and like, and she, and she's like, "Free suckers! This is a hold up and, from the and, 1970s." 
and, 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 and I'm like, 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 easy, easy. And then, and then um, she's like, like, but then I can see, like, there's humanity in her eyes. Like, 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 like because, 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 because she gets fucked over because she's just like, this ain't your money. She, like, she, pulls a, she pulls a totally smooth robbery. Like she's got it down to a science. She's like, all y'all's money is... Uh, no, no, that sounds terrible. That, that, that was, I, didn't mean to do the, I didn't mean to do bad grammar. Uh, all, all y'all money is insured. It was, the y'all, it was the plural on the y'alls that sounded terrible. Okay. All y'all money is insured. This ain't your money. It's the government's money. They fucked you over, now I'm fucking them over. So keep your goddamn head down and you won't get it blown off. And, I, and I'm like, she sounds like she knows what she's doing. And then she's filling her bag. And then somebody just pulls some crazy shit on her. Like the, the, the bad honky. Like, 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 <laughs> he hits the alarm and he shouldn't hit the alarm. Dan, who, who do you cast as ba- bad honky in this? Dabney Coleman. Okay. And then... And then <laughs> And, then, and it's like, and he did it, and he did it, and he's, and she's like, why did you do that? Why did you do that? And 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 and, and I don't know what happens at that point. Like, like she gets, she gets shot. Like Dabney Coleman's got like a little fucking asshole gun, and then she gets, she gets shot. But then something happens, and I don't have time to write the whole thing. But it like, basically, it ends up with me and her in the bank vault. Right. And because I somehow it's like it was kind of like a dog day afternoon meets like Cadillac man like 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 uh like 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 um what do you call it uh uh, uh, uh Stockholm syndrome kind of like thing but it's like like she and I we were we end up like we we solve everything in those dark days before we die together. But how because do you she di- has to kill how me. How do you die though? Well, she has to. I mean, you, I have. To, I'm picking this because she. I died by black woman, so she has to kill me, right? But yeah, un- under what circumstances? Third act. How, how, how do you? I guess right at the end, I reveal myself to be like. I'm like. I'm like. I'm sorry. You can't trust me either. And then she, she shoots me. All right. Yeah, this feels. <laughs> that feels bad. I don't want to. I don't want to be selfish, but I'd rather you she has to kill die. me because I like. Oh 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 oh! I know why. Because uh, because I, I helped her, I aided and abetted her, and like and I'm like, there's nothing in my insurance policy about treason. <laughs> do it, do it for my wife and kids. And she's like, I can't do it, Mr. Harmon. <laughs> and I'm like, don't you ever fucking call me Mr. Anything, you fucking awesome black woman. <laughs> and she's like, you fucking unexpectedly wonderful white man. <laughs> And I'm like, just fucking shoot me! And it, and it goes black, and then it's just like fucking Aaron Sorkin. <laughs> so that, that's a good death. I don't want that to. I don't want that to be misperceived as an invitation of any kind to black women across America. It's too late now. It's it's already out there. Well, Spencer, don't... Spencer, how would you die if you could pick a way to be murdered by another human being? How you, would it you go have down? to pick race and gender? That's what I'm interested in. Oh, who is, um, who is your murderer? Or it could be like it, a... it could be an animal. It could be a woman. It could be a man. It could be anything. I'm gonna keep it Asian. I'm gonna go <laughs> with sumo sumo wrestler. Would be awesome. Whoa! But he just ripped like he just ripped my head off. Off my body, but wait, but, but walk us through how that goes down. Why? All right. Why does- so I'm at the supermarket, <laughs> looking at frozen vegetables, and I I bump into I bump my cart into someone's cart, and I go, oh shit, sumo wrestler, and he's not having it, and I'm like, I'm sorry, man, I'm just trying to get some peas. And he's like, I'm trying to get something. And I ask, what? And he says, your head. And then he just rips off my head. All right. All right. Well, our next guests are no strangers to uh, racism. Uh, <laughs> um, these are actually really old friends of ours. A lot of, I bet a lot of people would be surprised how long we've known these guys. We don't hang out every day, but, but, but our, our connection goes way back to pre-YouTube days and Channel 101. I hope they don't w- want to know. They, they're, they're not uh, trying to keep their age secret, right? Because unless they were 11 back then, who boy, are we old. Um, but they were they were part of this amazing uh, troupe that was doing early, like, Channel 101 New York stuff, the human giant. Uh, the other guy was Aziz, and he went, you know, I mean, this, one thing I want to talk to these guys about is that they're, they've never, I don't know, there's like, like the, the, that troupe, like, it never goes like, okay, we're Simon and Garfunkel. We're going this way or that way, or we're breaking up, or we're reuniting. As far as I know, they've they kind of all have all individually like done amazing stuff. We've got two of them here tonight uh, pro- promoting a uh, 
Well, that makes it seem crass that they're here promoting something. They're just here. If they promote something, it's on accident. Um, but they're, they're, they just finished working on something, a, a concert movie that we'll talk about, too. So let's welcome some old friends of mine and some new friends of yours. Miss <laughs> <laughs> That was good. That you was know, really I've been, good. I've been looking for a standard <laughs> you, intro like you, Duncan Trussell has. You, you choked up in the bat, but that was actually really good. <laughs> no, no, that's why I laughed because it was so good. I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> that's nice. Uh, so, say it again, but say it with, <laughs> say it, like, like throw it away. Like, 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 do, it, like right. do it like you, like that means nothing to you. So please give an H-Town welcome for some old friends of mine and new friends of yours, Mr. Paul Shear and Rob Hubel. <laughs> I'm watching the live stream backstage and just thinking it would be great if there was a thermometer reading on the yeah. live stream just to see how the temperature is, uh, is treating everybody here. You, well, you don't need one. You have a, 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 the equivalent of a mercury bird. Like, I, 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 are you saying? Because I was like, I was just think, I'm pouring sweat. Oh, I, I did a show here earlier today. I poured sweat. I stopped, and now I've come back to pour sweat again. This yeah. is it. This is my workout for the I'm, week. Thank I don't, you. I don't I'm, sweat at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm tired of having to explain to these guys. It's six degrees colder out there. I'm not just. I'm not just a pollution. You're the reverse. You're the reverse Letterman. Yeah. Letterman keeps the studio cool, like sixty degrees. You jack it up to one hundred and seven degrees. Uh, all right. So let's dig in. <laughs> What? Wait. Oh. All, right, all right, Rob, uh, you are. You have to pick a way you're going to die, but it, Paul has to be the one that kills you. You get to pick the circumstances and the way that he dispatches you. How, how, how do you let Paul Scher murder you? Uh, first of all, great question. <laughs> uh, I've given this a lot of thought, actually. Uh, is it something, do I have to be aware of it before it happens, or can it be sort of like a sneak attack? You get, you get to pick, also, it could be when you're 90 years old, it could be tomorrow, it could be five, it, when you were five years old, it could be anything you want. Yeah. Uh, you, you have to die. Wait, when he was five years old? It, 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 so he can go back in time and kill himself? Yeah. He, wow. he, he gets to pick how he dies, but it has to be at Paul Shear's hand. Uh, how do you like to go out? So am I time traveling back like a Terminator? It's up to it's up to Rob. All right, it's up I to just want to get. The, if he does time travel back, is he totally nude? Like, uh, <laughs> um, see, this is why I ask because I, th I feel like that's where you want this to go. Right. Uh, so you, you get to pick. You, you not only do you get to pick how. Paul kills you. You get to pick what he's wearing or what he's not wearing. At oh, the it time. sounds like he has to be nude and five years old. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I would love a five-year-old Terminator. That would be the best version <laughs> of the new Terminator, just like a really badass kid. Yeah. All right, I think With I got metal it. Metal child. Okay, I think I got R it. Rob, you got it. Yeah, I think it was uh, my my birthday when I was seven years old. Uh, my parents had this really sort of homegrown birthday party for me where they had like my little friends come over and I don't know why they did this but they uh, they made a ton a shit ton of like mashed potatoes and uh, <laughs> and we were all like in our swimsuit this sounds very erotic but we were all like in up, our... wait a birthday party with tons of mashed potatoes <laughs> oh, I'll explain I'm fucking hard as a fucking diamond right now <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we were all in our little swimsuits, and uh, everyone had a spoon, and it's just like a food fight. Like it was just like someone yelled, "Like go!" and we all just fucking threw a shitload of food at each other, and, uh, and it was just like the simplest, dumbest, happiest I've ever been. So, I think that if Paul Shear showed up at that moment, naked, naked, as a five-year-old, um, no, as an adult, I think, all right. yeah, like, like current Paul, right? Yeah, now. current Paul. <laughs> Full throttle, like super hard. <laughs> well, and I mean, yeah, as long as no metal was exposed, I could probably time travel. But now as an adult, I do have a metal rod in my penis. Oh. <laughs> to keep it hard all the time. So wait, like, metal <laughs> would, would prevent you from time traveling? This it isn't like it's that's not like at the fucking airport. Yeah, like that's always been the weird thing about Terminator. Like, like, yeah, it was good enough for the first Terminator movie. It was kind of cool. It was like, well, why would he look like Arnold Schwarzenegger? And the reason is because living uh, mechanical the living tissue. Change. Yeah, covered it. But up. then after you were eleven, you were like, well, but come on, 
Yeah, yeah, it, but, yeah, yeah he's I'd, still a, yeah. a giant robot underneath yeah. there. Yeah, like why would that matter? Why don't you just like, yeah. Well, in this last movie, his hand is ripped off. He's like, oh, yeah, I can't time travel because now you can see it. <laughs> I believe you. Really? Okay. Yeah. That's Are you the, fucking kidding That's me? the whole conceit is that he's got to wait around for 30 years. That's how the Terminator gets older is he's like, I'll wait here. What? How did, and then, and how did then this get off of little kids in bathing suits with mashed potatoes? I know. How did we get off of can that? We fucking, can we stick to one Sorry, sorry, yeah, moment. sorry. We said no tangents. We said no tangents. Okay, so no yeah. tangents? No tangents. For the whole show or just no, this question? That's the rule of Harmontown is oh, no fuck. tangents. <laughs> mashed potato birthday party. I'm there as a naked You're adult. There, but Rock I hard. But what I would you like, said that, not me. What I would like... <laughs> I would like to not see it coming. I would like for you to just sort of like materialize behind me with like a fucking huge like m- like hatchet and just like just fucking slice me down the brain like and my parents and everyone's like, what the fuck? <laughs> but it would be a service to me because like my life wasn't going to get any better than that. No. You know, like not at all. So thank you. Know. Do you guys think? They, 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 I was gonna say they say. Well done. I don't, I don't know who they are, but I heard somewhere, and it was probably an eighth grade history teacher, that the guillotine is like the most humane execution we've come up with so That's far. That's what they say, right? Because you feel the the speed that it goes down. Yeah. All you feel is a. I mean, who who knows this? Who studies? But this? by the way, but, but like you feel a coldness that, on the back of your neck, and then it's done. I feel yeah. like that. If we ever did that, though, now. It would be viewed as the most inhumane. Oh yeah, way. well it looks terrible. Yeah. Well, they also but say the thing we do to them, lethal injection, is like you know, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's terrible. They're, they're I've also heard a that, thing. that drowning is like pretty fucking cool. Like, really? Just, yeah. No! Are you serious? No, you're like, yeah, no, yeah, no fucking high. way, man. I thought I'd it's just like burn to death. Oh, oh, water. You know, and it's just like. <laughs> well, but what about the no, what about you, the you, writhing? Like, oh, oh God, oh, oh, like. For, for me, for me, if I had to pick firing squad all the way. Firing firing squad. Squad. I, I want drums. I want dudes. Like I, I want guys in keppies. That's fucking insane. I, I, want, and I, I think want, you're I, lying. I want Claude Rains to be out there in front. And I feel go, like you're Do lying. you have any last words? And I go up your butt with a co- coconut. And then they, 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 <laughs> and then and they put the blindfold on me and they would shoot. me. And then have bolts of lead fly through the air at the speed of sound you, to go you, into random parts of your body. Have you, uh, ever, have you ever seen firing squad footage of people dying? Uh, it goes boom, and the, and the person's head goes. And that's it. The fucking, they're clearly dead right off the bat. Do, isn't no the whole way, thing man. with the firing squad that only one person has a bullet, but they're yeah. all aiming at your head? No, 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 no. It's the other way around. There's a blank that that, oh, okay. that everyone gets to assume you, you, is there. You might have the Got blank. So you might not have been the one. <laughs> Got it. Another, I like your way better, though. There's just like <laughs> one guy just sucks. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. You shot him in the shoulder, you asshole. You, you always get to go home at night from your work-a-day job on the firing <laughs> squad. Uh, how was I, work today, honey? I, 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 I had blank, the blank again. I had the blank in there. Oh, blank. sweetie, that's great because you know you know how much You're my parents murderer. disapprove of your job. <laughs> yeah, tell them tell them three weeks and running. <laughs> I guess I I guess I'm just born for this job. <laughs> Please stop telling your parents what I do for a living. <laughs> Each firing Make squad guy up. has on the door of his locker. They all have the blank days since the last fatality. <laughs> A sign, yeah. and all of them say uh, five hundred thousand. You know, because they all keep insisting they have. They're the... all super lucky. Each one of them, you talk, you're like, yeah, I just always get the blank. I don't know. Sure you did, Tony. Sure you <laughs> did. Sure you and did. then Kevin re- re- walks away. I was like, it was me. <laughs> and they all go to PF Chang's afterward, and they just like they joke about you guys killed so many people. No, you did. <laughs> I never have. Me neither. <laughs> but Lord the, Wontons. The bullet fairy visits one of them in the middle of the night. It's like a Christmas carol, but for executioners. <laughs> and they're like, you did kill all these people. Let's look at their lives. And then you, reve- you know, then you kill yourself at the end. It's a really dark Christmas. But carol. there's a. But the, then you get the blank. Yeah. And then you get the blank. <laughs> and then you live the best life ever. I also think a great way to die uh, would be Kraken. Would be uh, Kraken. <laughs> death by Kraken. Death by Kraken. <laughs> I was gonna say a uh, base jumping accident. Like, have uh, you uh, seen any of those documentaries where you know they're in the like those squirrel suits, just going like six hundred miles an hour? Not not you know not actual squirrel suits, but like, like you mean like the, the flying yeah those wing suits. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're not dressed like squirrels. 
Uh, well, uh, so they look sort of like squirrels, <laughs> but no, specifically, yeah, yeah. yeah they you. do look like squirrels, yeah, like, guys, yeah. And, yeah. And, or the, the, and they go like real close to like to the, the terrain. It's yeah, and every now and then there's just like a guy that just it's just like fucking pink mist. It's just like, <laughs> it's just like, just. Pink Vapor. mist. That's it's just like that's that's terrible. That, there's our, so there, fast. There's our band name. That's so disturbing. Pink I, mist. It's just so fast. I think it's that like, be, that's the title of the episode. <laughs> Refreshing pink mist. <laughs> <laughs> the effervescent. <laughs> the good people of the Coca-Cola Corporation have captured the the flavor and uh, impulsiveness Feels like of an extreme sportsman. <laughs> Aerosol misting. Uh, it will shoot your head of right off. All right, now, Paul, <laughs> Paul, you said Kraken. If, if, you could, uh, if you could either die or kill somebody, but the magic was involved, you, you, you could be the murderer. Ooh. Like, or, okay, how about this? Sure. You, you get to kill Dan Harmon because you have to, because maybe like, he's going to do some terrible thing. Like he's okay. Hitler. You, the you, new Hitler. You have to kill Dan Harmon because he's, he's going to... Throughout history, be one of the worst people that ever existed. Sorry. I'm going to do a whole concert about how I want to get killed by a black woman, for instance. Really? All right. Yeah. So Got if it. you want right. to stop that, right. you better okay. kill me. Now you, now you, you live in a world, Paul, where there's magic. You have spells. You can do anything you want, or you could be Ooh. as crude. It could be, a, it could be a nighttime attack with a with a with a, with a bottle opener. Like you could do anything you wanted, or there could be magic spells. How, what, what, if you, well, if you, my first instinct. I'm going to go with my first instinct here. When you said magic, I said voodoo dolls don't get enough play in this world. <laughs> and I think that would be a real fun way to get in someone's head where they don't know what's going on, but their hand's like, ah, ah, and you could have them choke themselves. You could light that on fire. You could make them walk, uh, you know, into a, into a wall. <laughs> I never understood that science, yeah, when yeah. They, like in the Disney movies, when they, eventually they're taking the doll and going like that, and the guy's like moonwalking, yeah. but it's like, well, wait, how come every time you move it yeah, around, he doesn't like, yeah. like float around? <laughs> I guess you have to activate it in some way. But yeah, I think I think a voodoo doll, and you could prolong it a little bit. You right. could make it a little bit. So, weird. What, what, what's, how do you start toying with the voodoo doll, and then how do you finally finish the job? Well, I think in the beginning it would just be simple slaps in the face, and and just a general like. Uh, this a is a total quick... Adam Sandler movie. <laughs> 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 oh, then I would get a remote control that would uh, control your life and fast forward, rewind. Fifty nights in Haiti. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Oh, I have no idea. I, like, that was the weirdest groan I've ever heard in my life. Uh, well, because I think people know. Oh, something bad happened in Haiti. They don't. They're even though that's years ago, and then or every day yeah. to the point where, like, like, I mean, who's 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 going to Haiti this I week? I don't know what they think is the worst part. As an audience, you all didn't. You all are like, oh, too soon, too soon to rag on an Adam Sandler movie. Or no, they like that. Talk I said, about it Haiti. Word, it yeah. was the word Haiti. Yeah. They they reacted to it like it was like a uh, you know Building Seven or something. <laughs> Meanwhile, Billy Seven, no reaction, yeah, not yeah. even a bad one. Like, yeah, yeah, well, look it up. <laughs> so yeah, I think I, I think you would start to build the craziness in with the slaps, weird things like all of a sudden you're laying in bed and you just like shoot up and be like, I don't know why I can't lay down. And like, so really, a week full of just funny weird slapstick. Right. Uh, and then you know, walking into walls and stuff like that. And then I think it would be. Um, uh, I would I would light a fire and then I put it on ice and I think those sensations I go to sensations right. a lot of sensations and then and then to talk about drowning now, now, is, is, is Dan so if you had to kill me you'd torture me <laughs> well look we're talking about you're a pretty evil guy and I want to make sure you get your just deserve I don't want to make sure that you know I don't want to make it easy on you if you were like I have to kill you to save the life of a child yeah guillotine but if you're going to be like the next whatever, you know, Boko Haram, I need to make sure that you take get from that. Haiti. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> um, yeah. So then, it, then I would. Then I think the final thing would submerge. submerge I don't, I don't understand Wait, why yeah. me being more evil requires me to suffer longer. Don't you think that you would want to suffer? You're or, saying, but that you, you don't do. even know what I've done yet. First of all. Well, uh, okay, uh, Dan. Uh, Dan, we're learning is the Dan you, counterpoint. I, uh, how, I want how, a how do you kill of him? He's a torturer. How, how do you kill? How do you kill Paul Scher? I. It's hard to not just do another voodoo doll on him. Yeah. You know, so that whenever I feel like my knee get hot, I can pull out it and go like, like yank on his dick yeah. or something. Yeah. <laughs> And then slow down the yanking and make it more gentle to the extent that the, the heat on my knee was more comfortable. 
<laughs> and then we'd find a we'd find yeah, an understanding. We, yeah, we, I mean, but we let's turn this into a win. Hurt each other enough. <laughs> we could just we could just go to restaurants together and just. Now that <laughs> now that's an Adam Sandler. Now movie. we're talking. Now we're In talking. Haiti. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Hades Gonna Hate. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody growing that? Wow. But there should be a company that does that. I, I don't get why there isn't, like, if you find out that you're dying, like, there should be a company that says, like, okay, well, like, how do you want to die? Like, you want to get fucking eaten by a bear? Great, we'll set that up. Like, yeah. We'll set it up. Like, whatever you want. You want to be shot in, like, a drive I would drive-by? like to be, like, but wouldn't you want to, like... In a way, I think this is maybe a Dennis Leary bit. So, Dennis Leary, Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll, I'll give this to you. But uh, that, why don't you use these people? Were in you movie? just doing a shout out to an, uh, to an FX show? <laughs> Sex, Drugs, and Rock. <laughs> I think his name in that show is like Steve Rock and Roll. Uh, it's really his last name is pretty amazing. Uh, so I would do it like you would just go out like in a stunt from Fast and Furious. Like that would be great. Like sell your body to a movie. Like yeah, you fucking get to drive Vin Diesel's car through those buildings in Abu Dhabi. Like I would be. I would go out well, like, like that. If you could arrange to have an on-screen fatality. Yeah, like but, that. And yeah, the, and that they would put it in the movie. Exactly. <laughs> like you get some. So it's just all, for, it's like, all a, old people that are ready to die. <laughs> 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 Jumping then, out of cars. And then you put the on your new headstone. You you, you there's a, a video screen like yeah. a, like in a Ford Explorer, and, and, and it's just like a loop of the fucking like. Oh, that would be the this best. Ferrari going through, and then they and then but then people could start going. Well, shit, let's make like a Milo and Otis movie with old people. <laughs> Because they had to kill like a million dogs yeah, and cats right, to make right, that yeah. movie. And it would be a, it's a story of two old people crossing the country to get back to their owner. And then it's just like an old lady in a box going down a river. And like, whoa, help me. And, and it's like, you can see the different actors in each cut, in each shot. And it's like, wow, 45 uh, old I women. love that. Yes. I'm in. Yes. Hollywood, make that all, happen. All, all people were hurt during the making of this film. Everyone. <laughs> and, 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 and then there's like a, like a gray ribbon or whatever the symbol for it is. It's like they wanted to be. Yeah, that was it. They this wanted is, to yeah, go out. They're, they're tired of being dicked around by pharmaceutical companies. And they were like, can I be in a kick-ass movie with Vin Diesel about me fucking braving the rapids? Yeah, be the best. <laughs> were there really a lot of cats and dogs killed? Apparently, I, I haven't looked it up on Snopes, but I, I do. Believe, I think. I mean, that is the. You have to believe it. Yeah, it, right? it, it was like a. I think it was a Japanese like like production or something like that. Is anybody who's who? Are, there's got to be a Milo Notice expert in here, right? Well, I also heard that Dudley Moore would strangle a dog every time he did voiceover work for if, it. Would do you mind coming up? Or, or, oh, well, you had. Well, well, oh, wow. two, we've got two. two, we've got two, two, two guys and one was sitting one was right, right next to each other. Let's bring them both up. They both have to <laughs> well, come up. Let's let's let let's let the first guy. His, his hand was up first. If, no. You, you, sir, yes, please. If you're if you're willing, you, if you, you, okay, great. Um, and if he's, you know, like we'll let you we'll let you mean gene him like a professional right. wrestler. Take uh, the chair from your beard, you sir. To, all right. So it what do you, what have you heard about Milo Notice and what do you know? And for, first, uh, first off, what's your name? Uh, Adam. Hello, Adam. Hi, nice to meet you, everybody. Um, let me regale you all with the heart. Did you get everybody's name? <laughs> yeah, you see, you see. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this was messed up, um, especially because I loved this movie when I was a kid. And then you grow up and you find out that this Japanese company. Not only did they, like, literally the scene where the cat, like, falls out. They were just taking cats and just throwing it off this cliff just to get this shot. And you see the cat's like, ah, no, do it again. But, like. Wait, what do you mean you see? You yeah, see like, you you've see seen in footage? the movie, you see the cat oh. falling off the cliff. And it's like, literally what they did was they just took live cats and threw them off a cliff till they got the shot. But you like, heard that. I just want to, like, track down. Yeah, I, I heard the same thing. But do you, do you know how credible is that information? It's is- Dudley Moore uh, who did the voiceover for it admitted that as one of his biggest regrets that he was a part of the project when that came out. Like, not a, not as, like... Now, it's, li- it is still... There's still a sliver of possibility that Dudley Moore was simply told as the same as I was <laughs> right. because he wasn't there. It's right. like, 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 he was a like, Dudley, stand in the bushes uh, and be the voice of the cat. And, like, and he was like... <laughs> and by the oh, way... Oh, what are they doing over there? <laughs> by oh, the way... Bullocks. I think if he was to look back at... The mass execution of cats and dogs, and Arthur too. Maybe he yeah, would have. He would have waited. Arthur on the he rocks. Waited. Maybe. <laughs> hey, brother, can you spare a billion dollars? That's a sign on the poster. <laughs> but but yeah, I mean, I just I would, I'm just curious. I'm not I'm not trying to investigate or uh, debunk you. I'm just curious, like 
because I I hear it and then I go yeah. like I never know the you know I never we know. thought you worked for like the ASPCA <laughs> so, so, sometimes I spread shit and then later I look it up and I'm like I've been spreading this shit for three years you know like like and I I, I want to like you know like take it all back yeah and I can't and I can't it's out there. You know? Yeah. How do so I, I want to so die a, a Japanese a production company killing me for defaming their uh, credibility? <laughs> no, but you know what? The fact that it wasn't made in the States makes me think that definitely animals died. I don't know how many. <laughs> like, I just feel like, yeah, they didn't care. There's no ASA, a- 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 you know, ASA. A- I've, a- I've heard I've heard anecdotal stuff. There's no CPAs that, on set. Under the subheading of that, of that legend, whatever, if it's true or not. Um, okay, we got a... We love Harmontown. It's like a town meeting. We got, we got a research department in the audience. Uh, it's an a- AV Club article. Yes, animals were harmed. 21 films and TV shows Harm, that killed, killed or hurt animals. Oh, uh, luck killed a bunch of animals. And that's I, HBO. I, I, no, no, number one is electrocuting an elephant, 1903. Okay, yeah. snobs. <laughs> Of course. Yeah, that, that, that was Edison, of course. Uh, and then Stagecoach and Ben-Hur, as you might imagine. Jesse James. Okay. Ben-Hur, uh, a fucking uh, guy dies. They keep it in the picture. Heaven's and Gate, also, like, 1980. I, uh, I, uh, I just heard that, you know... Uh, this is a comedy show, right? <laughs> it used to be. We just we went down after dead animals so hard. <laughs> we well, we, gonna I gotta say, Haiti definitely started us off on the wrong foot. <laughs> Made oh, it through a naked uh, man killing a five-year-old with a hatchet, though. That was me? <laughs> I mean, did you, did you pull me. this up, sir, because Milo Notis was on this list? Because I'm a... I was just fact-checking. Uh, you fact-checking. <laughs> well, no, well, what if no, Milo no Notis relevance isn't on to here? Milo Notis in this article. Oh, The Adventures of Milo oh. Notis is number 21. All right. Originally released in Japan in 1986, The Adventures of Milo Notis depicted the best buddies relationship. But as cute as the film is, it's been dogged by rumors of animal cruelty. With dogged particular... by rumors. <laughs> A minus AV Club, <laughs> just like all my best episodes. <laughs> Fucking A minus. <laughs> they're never gonna, they're they never gonna give you that up. A. They can't give it up. No, they're, they're, very, they're very hard to grade. You know Darn. what? They, you know what got an A? What? My last episode. They were like, "Yeah, get out of here." <laughs> all right. Particular emphasis on a claim that 20 kittens were killed in the course of filming. Though the, 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 these are still describing the rumors. Though the rumors were never substantiated, animal rights activists point that the film's end credits don't use the standard American Humane Association claimer, uh, but instead a more vague, the animals used were filmed under strict supervision with the utmost care for their safety and well-being. <laughs> and, and their interment. Uh, regardless of off-screen abuse, a lot... A lot of what made it into the film meets any reasonable definition of animal cruelty. Uh, that, that's a good point. Like there, yeah. even on screen, even if the, even a if they use like, the same cat and dog, it's like Jesus Christ, man! They don't work <laughs> them that hard. Um, while some of the more harrowing scenes were cut for U.S. audiences, others remained, like the one in which the cat plunges more than a hundred feet off a cliff into the ocean. Other controversial scenes include so, but there's not, there's no, no one knows. There is no. It's, it's just, dying with those it's, Japanese filmmakers. It's the last one on the list, and they don't say that that there's a, you know, there's no reference. The of one any. that I want to look at is I remember as a kid, and I've I've only been able to see images of it online. Benji at Marine World, and they put Benji in a wetsuit and then submerged him, made him dive. What? So he's like wearing, he's like wearing like um, an old school, like 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea kind of helmet, like a circular, like fishbowl helmet, and he's in his own wetsuit diving. And I'm like, well, I know this dog is underwater, and I don't think that wetsuits for dogs are a thing. So I'm guessing this is inhumane. <laughs> Um, wait, what was your name again, sir? Sorry. Uh, Adam. Adam. And what, what, you, what you, oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> um, the, uh, do you, is there, is there, do you, do you think you have a line to any more information than Adam had? There's a couple more stories about it, but it, like you said, everything's just still kind of Okay. Clever. So still unsubstantiated. But what was your name, just so we can? Ben. Ben. All right. Well, thank you, Ben and Adam, for being our Milo Notis correspondent <laughs> team. There's a... I wouldn't put that. I wouldn't put that credit on your resume, though. Like, <laughs> yeah. Harmontown, Milo and Otis expert. Well, let's hope. Let's hope. You know, cause, well, because Rob pointed out. I think it was Shrab. He's like, he's like, yeah. There's that scene where the where like it's part of the story that one of the animals hurts their leg, and they're limping. And it's like, how do you, how do you train train a, a puppy yeah. to limp? Right. I will say with I, a, with a hammer worked, is how. I have worked. <laughs> I have worked with numerous animals. 
uh, and none of them can be trained. I will tell you, they are all they only have owners that promise you that right. they will be able to be trained. Oh yeah, and then they're like, I don't know why they're not doing it now. I, they were doing it great yesterday. Yeah. I, I, you know. he, Heat Vision and Jack like Jack gets out of the jail cell because there's a German Shepherd, and the the joke is he's so smart he can talk German Shepherd through a. Through a, a dog whistle? by whistling, and it's like, it's, yeah, the guy comes in with the German Shepherd. And he's like, "This is Bucky," and 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 I was like, "Okay, well, because bu- it says on the script that the dog does all this shit," and then and the guy's like, "Here's the three things Bucky could do," and, and then yeah, he's like, "And I've been working with him all week on that one thing, but yeah. okay, let's try it." Oh, all right, nope, 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 nope. And it will like, really work if I'm in front of the dog and I have my hand on his head and I'm in the shot. Yeah. Will that work for you guys? No, absolutely not, because that's not the way filming goes. We can't yeah. have this on this dude who just appears to be. Training the dog in the scene. Yeah, that's why in TV shows it's always like if the dog growls, it's like yawning, but then there's like a. Rawr. <laughs> we, we shot a thing on the league with a monkey, and the guy I was in a car. The monkey got loose in a car, and he goes, "Don't worry if the monkey starts biting the um whatever the sun visor. He likes that." And we're like, "All right." He goes, "But if he starts biting you, just give him these gummy bears, and it will be fine." <laughs> And Just my reward logic him was, he, I was yeah. like, that should I wouldn't give that to a child who's being hyper. Why would I then like provoke the monkey and yes. then also give him something that's in the form of a human? Yeah, uh, I, I wouldn't want to, to get yeah, that. The going. most important thing being like, if he bites me, don't defend myself. Yeah. Like, don't like, treat yeah, him. Don't, give him a treat. Yeah, yeah. If, he, if him. he reverts to his savage animal instincts give and him, is following no programming whatsoever, give him up. I should I should elevate my yes. uh, understanding of everything in the universe and like not react primally. <laughs> On Children's Great. Hospital, we shot this thing with a baboon and uh, uh, and a fucking baboon. They have like, they're so scary. They have like the biggest fucking fangs and uh they they brought her in and she was dressed up uh like uh like megan mullally's character she was wearing like a little lab coat and glasses the, and the baboon uh, was the baboon was yeah and so so they had her in this chair and she was just at this desk and she was just supposed to type like the joke was that we didn't know that that was not megan mullally like we thought like oh chief blah 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 you know we start talking to her and we just didn't know and uh so the trainer uh they they put her in this chair and they would uh she would just type she would just go like like on a typewriter but like a fucking maniac like just like like with such like fucking hatred and like anger at the world and like and uh and they told us like right before we rolled it was me and Offerman me and Offerman are supposed to be like questioning the monkey like leaning right into her face and they go oh oh, uh yeah don't uh, look at her because that's that's aggressive. So don't look at her. You know you can you can look towards her, but don't look at her. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. What is the difference between fucking looking towards this animal and looking at it? Because like, like I don't want to get my fucking face like ripped off right. and like shat in and yeah handed oh, wait, back to me. When, back in New York when we used to do stuff in New York, I believe Seth Herzog. Brought a monkey on stage for a bit, like at a comedy show, and the monkey ripped his earlobe off. Ooh. Whoa! These fucking things are animals. animals. They oh. look like people, but they're animals. <laughs> that, you can they'll dress rip them your face up. off and rip <laughs> off your balls, and then they'll eat your hands off. And that's not all, because they're animals, but they're animals that understand your private parts. Um, they, they rip it like like a dog. A dog doesn't go right for your fucking nuts, but we'll a right chimp back. is like, I know exactly what you are. Yeah, I am ninety nine percent identical to you genetically, and I'm angry at you. I know I've been, I've, I've I am. It's you. Low I'm going for the parts of you that get you literally cast. low hanging fruit. It's just like blah. <laughs> they Rip. go for your face and your fucking fingers and your genitals. Well, this, this they guy go for w- what you'd go for if you in a, like a fight have to the death. The like, yeah, like, like because if you that's weren't prison so, fight. if you weren't so lazy, this is what you would do. <laughs> Well, they, um, I remember I talked to an animal trainer who had an orangutan, and I was like, oh, was it like working with them? He goes, well, my, my trainer, my, my master trainer had an orangutan, and he, uh, and he goes, you have to – you know, once they become older, they get more stubborn, and you have to start to watch out for these signs. And he goes, like, he was missing his mark. He wasn't doing his thing, and they used to live together. And he said, you know, I'd always say – he'd always tell the monkey, like, get me a beer, and the monkey would get him a beer, and then the monkey would have a beer – he goes, but one day he said, get me a beer, and the monkey didn't get him a beer. And he's like, it's now it's time. Oh. And he goes, he walked him out into the backyard and shot him in the back. No. Of the head. No. 
No. He said, because, he said that because um, I believe it was an orangutan that when they get to a certain age, like the their head ex- like um, actually grows or something like that. Like a, a, part, a bone in their head kind of pops out, and then they cannot be trained anymore. Then they're not – they are – they so, are – off Jeez. the grid. So you're like, and, you're and, like, and because they are domesticated and off the grid, they're doubly fucked. So it was like the only humane thing was to shoot is them. Murder. Yeah. But I love a Miller's Crossing with what an orangutan. Fuck? Just walking them out and pop. And not because he didn't break his leg in a horse race. Yeah. Like, that's sad enough. It's like, thank you for racing and making up No, it's money. like you've gone. It's to, like, you gone. wouldn't give me a beer. <laughs> you became sentient. I don't know how to say that. Level, like, uh, you are not my slave anymore. Oh, my you God. Forgot. I want to unhear that. You started to believe. evolve. You were evolving. This was a, this was a guy. This is, a tra- this is a, uh, an animal trainer who's master trainer like he he apprenticed under this guy and told the story very casually it wasn't like a it wasn't like oh and he told me like 10 other amazing he just stories took him about out and shot him with a gun he, 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 he said like this he goes he walked him out in the back with a gun and poof. so i imagine that means she, you know smoke. yeah that could mean a lot of things though that could mean a lot <laughs> Dan, Fuck. Dan, was it Jim or Joe Hodgson that told us? We, 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 I, I love Lancelot Link, uh, that, that show oh, with yeah. the chimpanzees. And I think it was Joel Hodgson, right, Harmon, who told us that he knows the people that, that did that show. And there was these chimpanzees. If you don't know Lancelot Link, Secret Chimp, it was a show where the, it's like a James Bond kind of thing. It uh, right. It's very funny. And there was the, uh, the Evolution Revolution, which the band, and the chimpanzees playing drums. It's, it's very fun. However, we found out from our friend Joe Hodgson from Mystery Science Theater uh, fame that part of uh, training those chimps was daily taking them out behind the fucking set and beating them with a pipe. And, and like, like, like beating them into submission because they, like, these chimps, at some point, they get aggressive and they're like, I don't want to do this anymore. And they're very muscular, very aggressive when they want to be. And they would have to take them out and beat them within an inch of their fucking life, like all the time to get them to go put a tuxedo on and pretend that... To go put... <laughs> Their wardrobe just kept getting more and more elaborate to I cover mean, up all of I the... Mean, I, I, it's a, like, there was a guy called the idea that at the end of it all, they have <laughs> there to was put a guy their own the... tuxedo on that they're like, God yeah. damn it. I told, them to, no. told Cindy to take this in. It makes me look like a fat ass. <laughs> if that guy beats me with a pipe one less time, <laughs> I'm not putting it on next time. <laughs> I just I don't know I don't know why that made me it's a, like, I just picked a monkey a, alone in a trailer like, with a yeah. black eye. Like just like, it's, a, it's, a, it's like terrible it's a terrible job yeah yeah but they, you hit him with the pipe and, yeah. then you, and then you're like now go to your dressing room <laughs> and, and, and dress like a fucking witch doctor <laughs> and he's like <laughs> hemming and hawing and humping and <laughs> he's just got the latch on the back but it's uh, not they, funny they, if you're listening and they, you're an animal they, they said animal person. yeah well I'm not yeah we're everyone's not an animal of, person yeah we're oh, we just, I, most I, of us I saw on Facebook that thing where elephants are painting and the elephant draws a, uh, a painting of an elephant and it's fucking a better elephant that you could draw and be like well that's a fucking amazing I didn't know an elephant could put a, uh, a, a paintbrush in its trunk and draw a fucking perfect elephant and do it it turns out the way they do that is through torture and through lots of like what like, the people walk up to them and hold a thing they hold them by the ear but in their hands there's a nail and it's and, and there's little sticks they have. It doesn't look like it, but what they're doing is they're just jabbing them with like it's all through pain. Are you they learn to do this me? shit. Like like what? The, uh, but right. are the paintings good? <laughs> I mean, they're beautiful paintings. Yeah. Um, I, I'm I would I, I would buy one of these paintings. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, agree. I, mean, I, would like all... a, I would like a like a, a movie version of the Fugitive with a monkey being like, like he killed a trainer and he's like I I ha- I you know like a wrongly accused monkey being chased down. <laughs> I was tired killing... of playing the Baron yeah. and, and putting a monocle in and riding a tricycle, and uh, yeah, I, yeah, yes, yes, I killed my trainer, but at what price? Entertainment. Oh. And, yeah, and but now he's a monkey with, without a fucking well, home. June, June, my wife uh, is very adamant about monkey and monkey rights because. <laughs> She doesn't like that monkeys are portrayed in a way that they have no control over. Right. So in the movie called Monkey Shines, oh my a God. monkey is a killer. And she's like, well, that's not fair to the monkey because he can't choose his roles. And so he shouldn't, he but, but shouldn't be who among us portraying can, his race 
he shouldn't be betraying his race by doing this. Like right. you're forcing him into a role that is maybe not is, is defamatory but, to his but race. But June is June is paranormally uh, empathic. Yes, because yes, yes, when yes. I did uh, your awesome podcast, how did this get made? Which everybody should listen to. If you oh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, great episode, dude. She. And yes. was very sincerely like 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 Jack Frost with Michael Keaton. Like she, oh, there, was she a, there was a point where she was crying. Yeah, she cries. She cries a lot, and uh, yeah, she gets touched by these things. But uh, the monkey debate, the monkey debate was was pretty amazing. She does not believe that dogs should. <laughs> Dogs, monkeys, whatever should only they should have some sort of autonomy over the roles that they are choosing. For That's themselves. why like Blackfish is such a great movie because you're it's, you're just rooting for the killer whale. You're like, oh, cool, man. Uh, yeah, like, come on. Uh, it's Wait, terrible. Like, the- like like these like, these these what seventeen year old interns that are like, I love. <laughs> I know you were I mean, doing a bit. It's not their fault. I mean, <laughs> but they're like, no, it's not. It's not that oh. trainer's fault. But I mean, you do feel for the killer whale, like you know, they've been fucking prisoner. Yeah, for but I whole... think yeah, but you could cut. Well, why, why are we having this debate? But but like, <laughs> but you could if you're young enough and you're that into animals, you could come out of high school and be like, I want to work at Sea World. Like, and I think like, all those because people I did, love right? Animals, yeah. and you don't have to have been on the boat where you're like pulling them out of the water and like, and you're just like, oh my god, I love this whale. Yeah, and you only it, know what you're told like i feel like these are not top scientists that are in the pool going hey hey here's some fish wave to the crowd (laughs) like i think the top researchers are are probably doing some other high level shit you know they're not did you guys ever the the npr i've already talked about this but the npr thing about that it's all about monkey it's monkey stories chimp chimp stories and all that stuff and one of them is uh uh, the scientist who like there, there was a chimp that was in the lab that knew, knew fluent sign language and it was like just allowed to wander around the lab and the, the there was a male head of the department and then there was like a funding guy who came in and took him into his office and was yelling at him um, and uh, or no 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 I'm sorry it was the other way around the female the, maybe the female was the the female scientist was the head of the research department and she was being yelled at by a by a male who was like a like a money guy. I, I'm, I'm sure I got the story wrong. I also got a million things about boat trip wrong, so just you always have to <laughs> you always have to just operate on my memory and just whatever. But the story I remember is that the monkey is uh, the chimp is sitting out there signing with the with a male um, uh, who was like. I think a superior to the female. I have no idea if, if monkey if chimps are inherently sexist and he couldn't understand the hierarchy, but he he had a hierarchy in his head and was signing to the male scientist like that that guy's in there like like fucking up your shit like like he's like mistreating her like you need to go in there and bite him and and uh and the guy's like well we don't we don't we don't bite each other that's not what we do and and the chimp's like you gotta bite him he's he's (laughs) look what he's in there dissing your your woman Uh, like 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 he's he's in there like fucking with your whole thing and if you don't bite him i'll bite you he signed and the this scientist suit? was like, "Was like, uh, we don't bite each other, Ralph. So, good day." And then like, or or it was, you know what? It was the other way around. It was like, that's the scariest thing about it. I think it was the woman who was signing with the chimp, and the guy was the chimp was saying to the woman, "Tell him to bite him, or I'm gonna bite him later." In any case, there was like this elaborate conversation, and it was like alarming. And then they, and then like, uh, some time went by, and the male scientist was like sitting in his office like it's picture like he's just like down and the chimp was like allowed to just go wherever he wanted and he just had some xeroxes to do and uh, like uh like like the the, the the chimp i mean and he just came in the guy's office came across his desk and bit his hand so hard that he lost like three fingers Whoa. oh and, he, and then he went and then he, and the guy was like jesus fucking christ herman i i like I, I, what the fuck and there's blood everywhere god he goes and gets his fingers reattached or whatever and, he, and then the, the, the chimp like after it just kept going like where's where's Steve, like 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 after he came back and there was like uh, he's getting his fingers reattached, um, and he's like well uh, well where is he where is he and he's like he doesn't want to work with you anymore, you bit his hand you fucking cocksucker, and, he, and he's like uh, well I mean I had to like like he's sat having that conversation he's like that's what you do it's he was like, like I it's had to bite like his hand street law you know or something <laughs> and, and they said you need to apologize to him and he was like I, I don't know what that means or whatever like the conversation was like he he either didn't know what apologizing was or he was like I'm not sorry though you know like in either case that's it was like, like but I had to and then time went by and he kept going like where's Steve and they're like dude you fe- you're a fucking dick like you you did it th- you know that you remember Steve 
did so you remember what you did and he's like yeah but whatever and yeah, then like like all this time went by and then after a while he apparently was like okay bring steven here and he gave him a hug like like like, like he's like all right you fucking pussy now let's get to work all right bring me a ne- bring me another kitten all right broke its neck all right i want my kit kat Fucking chimpanzees will rip your fucking. They're they're they are humorless, like savage fucking monsters. They have no compassion. Uh, they're scary. They look like us. I get it, but they're monsters. They they're terrifying. Well, it's tri- it's tricky when you put a cowboy hat on anybody. They seem more friendly, you know. Like, I know, and then we and then they want to do that, but yeah. it's like we shouldn't be doing that. We, what are you drinking? We shouldn't be we shouldn't be dressing chimps up because that's what they do to us. That's yeah. chimp behavior to dress up a chimp. Does that make sense? Is that track? We gotta be more human. That's why it's called the humane society. Like, like being humane involves being nice to animals, it, well, unless you're eating them at every meal. Well, do you? I guess the question then is, does it make sense to even train these monkeys to talk? Because no, yeah, fuck right, no. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. You, well, you can't. No, you should. I guess. I feel like the keep plan is with everything. Yeah, you want some too? A cup. <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, I feel like the plan is to make them soldiers, right? Like. <laughs> Isn't that the idea? Oh, man, the cold open of uh, Lawnmower Man uh, shows you how dangerous that is. We put There's a cold open of Lawnmower Man. It's like a yeah. chimp, like a Jim Henson chimp, like going through a military base, killing people because it's been trained to do it in a video I, game. I, well, I mean, I mean yeah. He's again, Jim monkeys, Henson chimp? Uh, I, talked, I talked into this. <laughs> I knew I had one thing. About I... Monkeys are so dumb. <laughs> Monkeys don't even know how to use a microphone. Um, yeah, I mean, well, I mean, monkeys probably have no remorse. No, I bet they don't. They like, like a Terminator, eat. like a five-year-old Terminator with a rock-hard dick. They <laughs> monkeys will eat baby monkeys just like for fun. I mean, not for fun. They do it for war, but they'll just like monkeys will get up at like three in the morning and like high-five each other and then go into the jungle and just eat a bunch of baby monkeys from another monkey village. By the way, Spencer, the way that you are positioned right now and what you just said, I like, want to watch a just like an Andy Rooney segment of just you, <laughs> you like just just melancholy about monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Some cold hard facts about monkeys. Spencer, That's I, really depressing. Are you are you yeah. pro or con uh, monkey? What, 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 I'm what? against. Like we should not. We should not know. I mean, I, we shouldn't know about monkeys. We shouldn't see Wait, monkeys. Not know about them? No, they should just be away from us. <laughs> Because, like, yeah, they do rip people's faces off. Why are we all like, that's pretty cool. Let's figure out why that happens. They're ripping people's fucking faces off. Well, studying them has been pretty important to understanding ourselves. It's dumb. Yeah. But, I mean... It... <laughs> Again, this show, is, this show is paying off huge dividends. I just want that. <laughs> Half an hour of just monkey, <laughs> monkey facts, monkey opinions. <laughs> I'm then. I'm you wanted in. to be centered on monkeys. I thought you were more taken with just. No, I just wanted to be about monkeys. You don't talk about the Greek economy like, anyway, or anything. Yeah, no, it's just about the monkey facts. <laughs> <laughs> you just resign to this fact about. Yeah, they kill kids anyway. I'm, all right. <laughs> But I, I, think, I feel like the, the uh, bonobos ha- have it going on because they, they, they settle all their d- disputes through fucking and sucking. They, they just jerk off Do all the time. Do they suck too? Are the bonobos fuck? the one they with the inflamed? They suck and fuck and they masturbate and they're bisexual and they're... They, they're, 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 they're incestuous. I don't know if they're the an advertiser on your podcast, but why would you name your company Bonobos? So that's a big like, podcast advertiser. Really. Are bonobos the one with the inflamed genitalia? Like, they, uh, like, they're, like their they're assholes bonobos. are like pink and rosy? Like It's like I'll a target? Think, well, they're the ones that are the most like us genetically. Like they're the closest. Really. No, but what are their assholes like? I'm that? specifically Why would you name your asking about clothing their company. assholes. Rob, Rob wants to know the specifics of their assholes. <laughs> what do their assholes look like? <laughs> Rob equates everybody on asshole how their assholes look. You guys have seen what they do with frogs, right? No. Go- go- Google chimpanzee. Frog. They fuck them and hit enter. They fuck them and 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 be amazed. Oh, like that, like almost like yeah. a, no, like a pocket pussy. Like right? like no. I've, I've heard. There's a thousand videos. No, a thousand videos. They, they I don't think I can watch it because any time a frog's ever come near a chimp, they've gone, they've gone like this for a second, and then they played with the mouth with their finger, and then they just go. <laughs> I should add, uh, probably a, a male chimp. I mean, I don't think. Uh, yeah, it's, right, it's, yeah. A, yeah, it's like, like, like it, it's, it's, it's just the, and they just do it, and then like they throw the fucking frog away, and then there's some videos where you watch the frog like limping away. Oh. But, 
It's a comedy show. <laughs> they fuck the mouth? They just, they just use it as a, oh yeah. as a, as a, as a yeah. flashlight? Yeah. Yeah. This guy, our research That's department's got it. That's what we're saying. It's a very specific plug. You guys plug. can do it tonight, you know. And once we get the this show, show brought to you by, once we get the show running to the the, the peak, you know, like, that's my dream for the show is we need a we need to come up with a way that we can have a live feed so that if they can see what the people at home are seeing, then we can say, Spencer, bring up put Google Chimp and uh, Frog. Frog, and then we, and then they can be looking at it, and then the people at home can be looking at it. No, I don't want to watch that. It, <laughs> Guy in the front row it's is a, so psyched. It's, it's, a, it's a bad pitch. It's a bad pitch. <laughs> um, uh, speaking of bad pitches, why don't we start playing some shadow yeah, well, runs? Is, is Demorge here? Is Demorge you... Brown, are you are you in town? I didn't see him in the uh, green room. Yeah, we, we, we have no Demorge? We got no Demorge. Oh, shit. Oh, so shit. what? what you... We have we Rob Schraub is here. All right. Oh, Schraub. All right. Ho! Get the fuck out of here. Where's Rob Schraub at? Where my Schraub is at? Where my rob is yeah. at? Yo, yo. Where my shroud is at? R to the O to the B to the shroud. I fucked your mom so hard it was my job. Got a lazy rap. And the dizzle to the rob. Gonna go out in the street and I, I gotta lob my tennis ball. Rob's on this side? All the rob's on this side? All the yep. rob's over here. Yeah. All, the rob's on this all, side. Right. all the rob's to the left. Hello, everybody. Yay. Glad I wore my jacket. It's nice and chilly in here. What, what's up, Rob Schraub? Eh. <laughs> I feel all like, right. Rob, if you could be, uh, if, you, if you had to go toe to toe at, at like uh, the end, like end of your life, like a battle royale, mm. you, you mm. had to fight a nether animal. Nether e- animal. E- a nether animal. If you could look into the netherverse, if you could and fight, fight a nether animal. <laughs> If you could fight another animal, another animal okay, to to the death. Oh. Wh- which animal do you think that you would be equally matched with, and which gorilla? One? You would fight a gorilla? Fuck yeah! For real? No. <laughs> okay, how about this? You get a weapon. What do you mean? You get to fight a. I'm gonna choose you, a gorilla. I, 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 I use a gorilla as a weapon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucker, I'll kill anything. Yeah, right. Take that, rhino. Clint Eastwood <laughs> used the gorilla as a weapon in what, a bunch what, of movies. I, did, I okay. wasn't listening to the you, show. You what get, is going you, on? You, you get to fight a gorilla. Uh, is you and a gorilla in a in, in a ring, like, I, I, or like like in a forest where we like, weren't the, talking about? There's no oh, escape. Okay. But you get one weapon, but it's not not a gun or a, like an arrow or a crossbow. You get one melee weapon. Like what, what do you what do you fight a, a gorilla with? What a knife, a hatchet? Why? Like, what, why? Why you? I'm, I'm asking this? you a question, Shrub. You and did he gr- do this to you guys? No, no, kinda. Well, I mean, he, he always asks different things all the time. My, can I talk with Mike? We've just been talking about happy people? little uh, light subjects out here. All right. <laughs> it's you, you versus a gorilla. What weapon do you Me bring? Versus, in? Shrub versus gorilla. Yeah. What, what what weapon do you bring in? It can't be a gun or a, a Sharknado. A Sharknado. <laughs> Now, I come in. I don't know what 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 what's He's the got, point of this? Let, let's say tomorrow you. Let, let's say we. I got all, one. Let's say we all left the building tonight. Voodoo doll. I, I, voodoo doll. <laughs> voodoo doll. Voodoo doll. <laughs> Gorilla voodoo doll. Gorilla voodoo doll. Okay, well, I got it. I like this. What's up with this empty thing? This is empty. I put that there. Sorry. Oh, okay. Why? It was is, in your chair. Can we get uh, Rob Shop a beer? Yeah, let's Who's get Rob beers? Shop a beer. All right. Well, well let's. You're drinking out of it. Don't go. He can have mine. No. I got Fernet Bronca. All right. Well, Shrav is... No, who no, brought, no, who brought the Fernet Bronca, by the way? What? What's your name? Sam. Hello, Sam. Thank you so much. That's Holy awesome. smokes. Dan, what are you doing after the show tonight? I, Fernet Well, Bronca. I know, Shrav, you want to go watch Nightmare on Elm Street because yes. we lost uh, Wes Craven uh, today, I guess. Wes Craven is dead. Yeah. Yeah. And the funny thing is I ran into it's Brian It's not Collins. funny. It's not funny it's that he not. died. It's kind of funny. I said the funny was it thing. Between, <laughs> what was, the, was there a choice between... Anything like was it was it between always, like John Carpenter or no Wes no no Craven? I mean as far as were you saying like was it always going to be Nightmare or could it have been oh thank you so much could it have been Scream Two what do you what do you I mean like what, you're going to watch Nightmare movie, right? on Elm Street tonight oh yeah like yeah. was was that is there any other choice Deadly Friend oh interesting Deadly Friend is like one of my favorite Wes Craven Deadly movies. Friend's great Shocker. Shocker, or, 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 or it's, four, it's four in title, two in the pink. <laughs> 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 
not true. Swamp Shocker Thing is uh, is what's his face in that? That's uh, Peter Berg, right? Mm-hmm. Peter Berg acts in Shocker. Like, right. That's when he was like an eighteen year old actor. There were two movies that came out when Shocker came out that were both very similar, and it was very confusing. There were two horror movies that were both about guys who died in electric chairs. I think. Was Shocker the one that goes? Through the electric outlets? Yeah, I think he becomes yeah, he, electricity, he, which also includes television. But then there was another... Terrifying. There was a... Uh, yeah, it's always... A special effects so and horror scary. always go great together. So like, like, scary. Lawnmower comes Man, out of the perfect th- combination of both. <laughs> Horrifying. Wait, what... Uh, so scary. The one thing that's interesting about Wes Craven, though, I feel like, is he really was able to keep a consistent reinvention of himself yeah when he did when he did uh, I mean Scream the, Queens is Scream his, right? uh, I don't know if it is uh, Scream Queen, Queen is that the new show that Scream Queen show am I totally anybody wrong? anyone researchers is it it's no Murphy, it's who no, that's Ryan Murphy. And we that's all American have, Horror Story. We all Scream. have a tiny bit of information. All of this. <laughs> we're and all just regurgitating. Yeah, we're They're all only, just regurgitating. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, I thought I heard that. I don't know, but yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. definitely a bunch of a bunch of animals were killed on Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. I know, I know it. I know. I know. <laughs> the best weapon to, if you wanted to kill Wes Craven, would be a gorilla. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right, Dan, he just died today. Good joke. Well, fuck you. <laughs> Wait, uh, I cued you to do that? <laughs> uh. So what do you think? I'm sad he's dead. No. Oh. After the show. This is the only reason I came is to guilt you into hanging out with me. Where are you going to watch it? <laughs> well, All right, I'll hang out. Do, do, you, do you think it's possible? This, this might be a bad thing. Can pitch. we do it at my place because my dog's... Yes, Aaron, I would Aaron's love to not... do it at your place because... Guys, my, I live right in between my... both of you. Do you guys yeah. know there's an audience here? <laughs> Wes he, Craven died. He doesn't return my texts. He doesn't. You guys he could doesn't. call each other. You could email each other. He doesn't pick other. up. He doesn't pick up. You don't have to invite Even all of these people and all shit. of those people. I was writing for the last, like, three weeks. I've been You've trying You've been to... writing since 1993. <laughs> Let's be serious. When is it going to stop? When are you going to have time to hang out with me? Going to... I got to go uh, to a marathon of something I did. That's not, that... Spe- speaking of lines that would be great in a trailer for a concert movie, uh, you guys, that's part of the reason you guys came here because you, you're, you're coming out with this concert movie you did. Oh, right? yeah. Like, uh... We did a comedy special in one take on a moving it's bus. Co- concert movies are misnomer, though. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. Not, you're not going to go out to but theaters. Yeah, no, and watch it, it does happen in one night on a glass bus. Yeah, we just basically... Uh, uh, we made, she and I made this show called Crash Test where we just uh, we got this fucking insane glass tube and we drove around all like of Hollywood. Like most buses, like you face the driver. And this one, you face the street. And it's like stadium seating. And the, the street becomes the stage. Yeah, so we just called all of our like comedy friends and said, like, Being, Didn't call me. Well, we did, as a matter of fact. You gave I us, think we did. You gave us permission well, to use the you, community stages. Like, yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, was good. You, you were calling Joel McHale through me. That's what happened. <laughs> But so we just drove all around Hollywood and like went to everybody's house and they just came out in their front yard and did like a bit with us and then the bus just keeps going. <laughs> it was so fun. It was so fun. So we made it into a special and it's on uh, Vimeo. Yeah, Vimeo on demand. What's it called? Crash, Crash test. test. Vimeo. But it, uh, <laughs> no new taxes. <laughs> we, we have all all of our all of our comedy friends, the uh, Reno Nine One One, uh, Reno Nine One One Reunion, and Earl Sweatshirt, who we've been doing comedy with for God, like the last ten years. You know, the Odd Future. Fun. We have we all grew these, up with them, and it's literally uh, like every funny comedy person you've ever seen, and then Earl Sweatshirt. <laughs> He's awesome, like but it's just like in your trailer, it does like a. Like a Tarantino kind of yeah. boom, 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 boom of all the last names of yeah. like, look at all this fucking A list people. Then, and then one of the, it's all last names, and, and, and sorry, Cordry, uh, uh, Rudd, uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Then it's like a sweatshirt. Sweatshirt. Like, and they feel anyway, like, do every time. Which, it operates on two levels because yeah. it's, it's just a name of an object. That's, <laughs> that's all, the only level, really, that it operates on. <laughs> but but you, you were the only, like, um, Paramount let us shoot on their back lot, and basically, like, yeah, you can shoot anywhere you want on their back lot. Uh, everything will be closed and we won't turn on any lights for you. Like, oh. Yeah. And then Dan was the one who let us at least open a stage door so you get to see the set of community and the amazing uh, banner that you had out in front that says... Sounds like a good and, friend. Uh, 
No, it's a... The, <laughs> I love Schraub's criticisms of you because they're all compliments. Like, you've been writing since 1993. <laughs> yeah, I know. Go to see it's a marathon terrible. or something that... A, what a something. put down. <laughs> so great. He's, he's, Anyways, Paul, but, you were going to say oh, a funny well, yeah, thing you about have this, uh, Yeah, you have this... Besides uh, that you can go by the, the Greendale College, you have this banner that says, nominated for zero Emmys. <laughs> uh, hanging we up. put that up for morale, you know. It, it's <laughs> one of the funniest things that's just suddenly there, right behind Jack McBrayer. And you know but, what? That was the smartest investment that show ever made because I got to use that sign for three years in a row. <laughs> <laughs> it paid I, for itself. That's called amortization. That's something Sony never appreciated. <laughs> I amortized. Hey, um, hey, hey, Dan, do you think that we could all play some Shadowrun together with this group? Up here? I think so. Yeah. yeah, it's not our it's not our finest moment for feminism, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll 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 you know. You want me to do sound effects? Um, yeah. Okay, Rob, Rob will do sound effects. No, the, uh, the, no, you're probably going to need to be a character because we need everybody that we got up here. So, uh, no sound effects. You, 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 Rob, follow your heart with sound effects. If, if, if you feel like a sound needs to be affected, I'll feel a, the room. affect that sound. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll fill the room. Well, if he wants to... Co- if we, it would be a number of mics thing. Cause, uh, Where did we land on you guys getting together after the show? I'd, <laughs> if it's at my place... Yes, yes, my my Shrub. Uh, I, I met my wife at last I met my wife at Shrub's apartment. Yeah. That is true. That That's is true. Shrub's apartment was my old apartment. Is that true? Yeah. Shrub introduced me to my wife. No reaction. No what? reaction. Yeah. Oh. Shrub. But my what? wife is half Japanese, so she's half responsible for Milo and Otis. Wow. <laughs> How many cats did your wife throw off a cliff? Like, uh, what's half of 36? <laughs> 18. Shrub, last great Wes Craven movie, go. Excuse me. So, okay. Oh, shit. Um, well, I, I mean, Scream is, is like, that is pretty game-changing. You changed know? the I whole mean, genre, I mean, brought like, back I mean, horror? Would I mean, you say it brought back horror? I think it, it brought it to a new level. I mean, it was like one of the... First, like it brought meta to like contemporary or to, to the people, you know. Like, uh, I mean, it helped out this guy here with his shit that he does on television. Wow! Made it now warm, the insults the are really up flying. Here, warmed up the room for him a little bit. Um, <laughs> now, should, now, I, should I talk? Is it? It's not. No, you should never talk. Okay. <laughs> Sound effects. Oh no no no! You're playing Aaron Aaron McGathy's character. Uh, oh my uh, god. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> now, Paul and Rob, do you guys understand uh, how Shadowrun works? <laughs> Well, Absolutely. No, uh, I, I don't even know what I, what I'm looking at right uh, now. If you see a shadow, just Rob, uh, fucking just run, run man. like shit. That's what I do. <laughs> Rob, uh, what, what char- Rob Hubel. What the fuck no. it? Hubel, what, what character do you have? I lost it. Um, are you are you Doctor Friend by um, any chance? Um, yeah. Uh, 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 God damn it! This fucking stutter. I did that. I'm, fucking I'm Doctor Friend. All right. All right. Paul, you're Dr. Friend. I don't even so, pay attention so to this who, shit. Who, who are you, uh, Hubel? Right there. I just hang out. Fucking Hordegard. Oh, you're Hordegard. Okay, so you are... Yeah. Hordegard is kind of a what? Like he's, he's Austrian a dwarf. Or German. Cool uh, dude. He's yeah. like a German doctor. No, or no, no. a German psychic. Hordegard's a dwarf. A dwarf psychic. German, but clearly German. <laughs> he's Dutch, I think. Demorg does him with a, some kind he's of... He's from Oslo. Oh, it's Norwegian, either. Okay, so yeah, do your best Norwegian... Yep. And, uh, and Paul, you are Doctor Friend. Doctor Friend, who, who's a, a uh, what's he? A, a, He's well, a, a troll, a, a He's troll a... doctor, which a male troll doctor who uh, has an armor jacket. Yes. Yeah. He's kind of a mob doctor archetype, you know. He's like a like a like a black market doctor who okay. travels with us. And uh, Hordegard is Hordegard's sort of kind of our, our eye in the sky. He can kind of see like 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 the uh, he's our map. Like when, when we need. I feel like we shouldn't waste time of your listeners and your your audience explaining. Let's just fucking do it. I'm gonna. I, love I mean, that shit. agreed. What can, what's the worst that could happen? Like Price I'm gonna Spencer, fucking go? swallow yeah. a snail. Or something. <laughs> oh yeah. Pre 
Previously on Harmon Run Shadow Time, enraged that their Johnson had double crossed them with a ghoul magnet trapped briefcase, Dr. Friend and Eve Libertine decided to combine forces in seeking righteous retribution. Eve summoned a spirit eagle for a delivery system for a rage empowered agony spell. Hortigard contributed with the re- to the revenge cocktail with general psychic fusion. And Jim Nightblade, not wanting to dampen the synergy, openly declared his sexuality because the only thing that is more powerful than a secret is the secret's exposure. The doctor quickly restored the drain the drained Eve, allowing her to summon an additional spirit sparrow to search after the Johnson. And the gang searched their souls and evaluated their recent exploits and setbacks. Time to get paid, or time to get some paid back, or time to pay Shadowrun style. <laughs> Alright. Can you say that all again? Spencer, who wrote that for us? That was by Pat Spinagle. What? Cat Spinagle? Pat Patrick Patrick? Pat Spinagle. You're not even writing the stuff anymore? No, man, I outsource it. He's like like Jim Davis, like year nine of Garfield. Oh, man. (laughs) It's just like, I don't know. Put him on a Is that true? Is it Jim Davis? Boo! Spencer, did did my sparrow... I didn't know that. What (laughs) has happened just the last time I've been here? Spencer, did my... Did my mystic sparrow find anything? He's reading off his phone? Yeah. What the fuck? We have, we have guest writers for it. Uh, what to do? Let's see what we got. Uh, what are you... Spencer, Spencer, did my sparrow find the, uh, the, the driver of the car that left us with, it, with uh, holding the bag? You just sent it out, but not yet. Okay. It might take some time. Okay, I'll, I'll hold tight on that one. Shit. I mean, all right. So we are... God damn it. I You're in we, a parking lot. All right. There's zombies, ghouls. They're kind of just cruising around, though. They're not meaning you any harm. How many shadows? There's like seven <laughs> shadows. Get run! the fuck out, man. You got to get the fuck out. You got to run, man. Well, guys, I say we... I say we go... Uh, I say we go our separate ways to wait for another shadow run to call us. Why, why don't we go back to that bar? What's the bar called that we all, we all hang out at, where the Johnsons hang out? Hank's Last Stand. Hank's Last Stand. You, you guys want to uh, drinks are on me? Uh, let's let's go to Hank's and I'll have dr- a drink. Okay. I'll have a drink. Okay. Right. Well, I, I I I call an Uber and we all and we go to Hank's Last Stand. Right. What, what time are we in? I thought we 2050, were 2050. What? 2070 something. So this is when monkeys are all gone, right? There's no such thing as monkeys. <laughs> so there's no beholders or dragons or anything. Yeah. Oh, there's no. dragons. Well, there's dragons. There's no beholders. There's no monkeys. Um, Thank God. There's. <laughs> it's magical, Rob. There's no. Yeah. Magic. There's magic. I'm it's already magic. disappointed. We don't lose. Great. We don't lose any points for the data mining that Uber will take from us, right? <laughs> Not these days. You don't okay. even have any data. That's Great. Safe. Great. Okay. We, we, I had 11 Uber drivers reject me before getting. I had to drive myself here. <laughs> Wait, is this is this Rob Schraub or is this a character? No, this is me. Serious. I thought that was your character. No, it's not a character. <laughs> is this Aaron McGathy's character talking? No, this, I, I, Mercy, I had to drive Mercy, myself. Mercy, you're the, you're our face man. Why, why did why did uh, so many drivers reject you? I I. Rob Schraub. No, you're Mercy O'Donnell. Okay, well, I'll tell you later <laughs> as myself. 11, 11. Rejected. You know, Look, Mer- Mercy, you, you're, you, you're so charming. and you, you have the prettiest face in town. And you, this you, is you're, true. This you're is, so charming. That is true, yeah. Well, why would so many drivers reject you, do you think? Well, it didn't happen to me. It happened to Rob Schraub. <laughs> But that was like 65 years ago. <laughs> 60 years ago. It was longer than that. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's, All right. uh, let's, let's go to the... Let's go to the bar, right? La, 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 la. Okay, we're at the bar. Yep, that happens. <laughs> you roll into Hank's last stand as the Uber drone drives off. You recognize some familiar faces. You see Hank and Teddy and also Hack Eye. They're all just chilling. Hank, Teddy, Haggai. Hey, what? How'd it go? Waiting for the third one to answer. What? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> only, <laughs> only one person has been talking. 
Oh, where's Hank and Teddy? <laughs> they're, they're oh, hey, top. guys. Hey, what's up? I'm Teddy. <laughs> yeah. hey, Sorry, Teddy. I, was in, uh, I was in the bathroom. Yeah. Teddy? Hi, guy. Uh, where's, where's Hank? He's, he's right there. I'm right here. <laughs> oh, hey, what's up, Hank? How you doing, man? Uh, uh, How come you guys uh, took so long to sit down? <laughs> <laughs> I was over by that jukebox trying to pick a song that Night- applied to my life, but I couldn't find one. Nightblade, tell him. Tell him what happened. Well, the music industry's taking a hit. Because <laughs> of all the increased technology, it's anybody who plays a power chord can get a record deal now. So. Amen. There's a lot of more popular songs that uh, tickle that toe tapping bone at a wedding or a funeral, but by and large, no one, no one makes the connection that uh, uh, the Beatles used to. <laughs> amen, amen to that. Oh, my yeah, uh, Beatles, my grandparents yeah. listened to the Beatles. Oh, shit, yeah, the Beatles. <laughs> Actually, my grandparents' parents listened to the Beatles and they told me all about it. Anyway. <laughs> Well, well, well. Uh, well, anyways, yeah, we went to uh, drop off the, the, the job and we got ghoul magneted <laughs> by the Johnson. It's not worth going into detail. We got fucked over on the job. We're starting to think, where I am, rather. I won't pretend that my... I'm going to take a shit. <laughs> hey, let's go. Won't, won't let's... pretend that my, uh, my is viewpoint it, is Is it cool if I go watch her take a shit? Go for it. I'll Come on in. in. It's free country. Yeah. We got to keep our... I'll keep the door open. Oh. There's, no mu- there's no music, so we got to keep ourselves entertained by something. <laughs> we just Can watch Can we change the station other. on the TV for while I... It'll help this go faster. I'm not... <laughs> the job, the job went, went poorly. So no with the t- changing of the... No, I'm not, I'm not in the bathroom. We don't, we don't want. I'm, what, I'm yelling. What would you say if I had a job? You don't have to shit so fast. Okay. <laughs> Why is this girl what, what sh- would shitting you? with her legs crossed? I've seen it. I've seen it all before. What would you say? What would you say if I had a job for you? A, jo- a job? What? A job. A job? Yeah, it's I a want dangerous a job. job. I want a job. <laughs> yeah. We, uh, nice play. We, we, what job? <laughs> Close the door while you're shitting. All right. Mercy. Jesus Christ. Get in. Get I'm, in uh, here. Cool. Get in here. Cool. Yeah, I'm down. Okay, I, we, 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 all go into the, we, we all go into the bathroom with Mercy while she's taking a shit. Jesus Christ. I can't believe All right, fine. Okay. Go let's, watch let's, her. Let's, I mean, she crosses her legs like with shit. a real live girl fine. taking a shit. Let's, let's talk in uh, private. I don't even know she crosses actually, her legs so you can look in. It's, it's gross. I didn't even know girls took shits. They do. They do. Look, I have a job. If we should want. go out of the bathroom. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I'm, I don't even... I'm done. Okay. Good. All right. Okay, it wasn't even a fulfilling shit. It was like almost like two little things. What's the job? What do you have for us? Yeah, what's the job? I need you guys to break into a storage facility. Is that true? What is it? <laughs> Well, we have that. We have a bunch of MP3s out. in right. there. What? Oh no! Wait, I can. <laughs> no, go for it. What? Are, uh, what's okay. the? I got to want to. Where's this going? Let's do this. Is, yeah. Paul, yeah. is Paul riffing or is this? No, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's what? do it. Okay. Let's right. do it. I have okay. a storage facility uh, <laughs> full of MP3s <laughs> with the good stuff. Right. Full of MP3s. <laughs> MP3s. Beatles, I, Stones. You know, you do Cyrus. <laughs> I got them all. Wiz Khalifa. All of it in there, <laughs> but no, no which, which nobody was my favorite. You no, didn't, you didn't but, need to rent a storage facility for. That. I didn't rent it. I just know there's a place where all the MP3s are held. Old oh. music, good Wait, music. He's Doctor Friend, right? No, yeah, no, that's, I'm, that's I'm Henry now. Is it true what they say that all the pops and whistles on those old MP3s are make the sound somehow better than? <laughs> oh, those ones and zeros. <laughs> it's so smooth you wouldn't even think they played instruments. Oh my God! I, I mean, I, I I grew up on that when when, when I was l- fleeing the uh, the government and I was living in the hills with the Native Americans. We used to play MP3s, and that was the shit. That's the stuff I grew up on. People used to have players in the size of their hand. The I know. Hand, yeah. I know. That, that's but that's that, that's that, that's almost eighty years ago. Like, I, I would I would do anything to get my hands on those. 
Well, look, more you importantly, guys, oh, sorry. Oh, no, oh, you, you go ahead. No, well, I'll just sorry. say, no, no, you guys no. got him from me. I've been go very ahead. excited about yeah, it. Yeah, go ahead. No, no, I no, go ahead. No, no. I just, you know, I just want to listen to no, some no, music. No, no, okay, no. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, but. no, you get the job. Go ahead. Well, no, I'm just saying. No, I, I, I'm just saying, I, remember I agree, when, I agree, back I then when those players were so big, you could put one in a paper cup. Oh, yeah, no, just amplify the sound like a little portable right, go speaker. Ahead. Sorry. No, there's nothing more to say than just saying, like, yeah, I would love to listen to some good old classic music and say this pop culture junk in here. But more, more importantly, so is the customer talking Amen. big money. <laughs> we'll bring people back to Hank's bar, finally. <laughs> Hey. So, wait, so, so, he, he's Hank, right? Hey. Yeah, Hank, he's Hank. Hey. I talk about him in the third wait, person. Wait, wait, I hey, Hank. Called him. hey. What? Uh, hey. Yeah. 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 What's up? Each one of those MP3s is like 99 cents, man. That's a lot of money. <laughs> There's more than like three of them. More, right? more like $1.29 in the later days. Hey, 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 Shit. Hey, hey, Hank. Hank, um... Why? Why has it been so long since we've seen like MP3s of all this great old music for so, for so long? And nobody's had access to all this great stuff. Music I, causes revolution. Good music will that make is everybody true. revolt. They have to take away our music. Leave us with this candy coated bullshit. Oh my God, you're right. If we, guys, Shadowrunners, if we get our hands, do, do we have a nick, nickname? Do we have a team name? I like Shadowrunners. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we, we um, can vote, but. It'll take a while. Look, I'm Eve Libertine because I, I, I named myself after a, a punk band from the 70s, from, from Crass. Like, like I, f- I feel like he's right. Hank is right. If we get our hands on this music, there's a chance that we can take this old music and bring, a, bring humanity back what to where it used to be. What was the band? It was called Crass. Cool. <laughs> you never heard of it? I did now. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. I... I don't care what it takes at all costs. I want to get my hands on this music and I want to make sure that everybody gets to hear this because that's the stuff that might change people's minds and bring us back to the humans that we used to be. Amen. Thank you, Hank. Well, did you flush that shit that you took? No, I better go back. You want to come with? Yeah, come okay. with. Okay. We go back. Okay. Both of us go back. Sound effects, sound effects. Both of us go back sound to effects. the bathroom. And then Dr. Friend uses his detox on you. Which allows you to eliminate all the side effects of that uh, terrible meat poison. You oh, boy. <laughs> Look, at that. Look at that massive shit. It's like using a squatty potty. Yes. <laughs> you could kind of like, like see what my day was. <laughs> like just in the relief of... Should I should let... Okay, everybody checking this out? Okay, I'm going to flush it. Flush it. Hey, so Hank... Uh, wh- wh- <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, lady shit. <laughs> Hank, wh- wh- where where are these MP3s? All I got is this data map. <laughs> <laughs> Hortigard, you, you, uh, g- give Hortigard the d- 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 data the, map. Here's the data map. That's uh, uh, the other guy. Well, thank you yeah. very much for giving it to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. I would also like to say that Shadow Runners. Sounds to me more like a racist Disney movie. <laughs> I am not so sure about the name Shadow Runners as mm. a nickname for the group. It's not. It's not Shat. It's Shadow. <laughs> I understood what you said. <laughs> I oh, still... wait a second. There's one thing I got to tell you. Oh, oh shit. shit, Hank. What oh, is it? Shit. I hope one of you has musical ability because to break into this facility. They don't have key codes. Oh, Mercy. Mercy has musical ability, I think, right? <laughs> Spencer, am I right? I, sure. They, they, I don't they, know. They, they don't have key codes. They have music codes. <laughs> <laughs> you have to play music. If it's not one thing, it's they another not have, with these codes, man. They, you know, come, first. they didn't come up with a better name for it than music codes? I mean, I just heard about it. I heard about it as music codes. Music uh, codes. Yeah, so g- give us a location, and w- and we'll take care of the rest. Well, I gave you, you the data map, and now I told you a little secret. I have the data map. <laughs> All right. Can well, you let's add? get going. Come on, huh? Let's or, get on my... Somebody Uber... G- g- I, I, I call an Uber. But <laughs> What? All right. Well, all right. Look at the size of that building. <laughs> 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 You find your, you find yourself outside of a large building. Yeah. 
It's not related. <laughs> it's not related to the storage facility. <laughs> oh, did I punch? Did you punch in the wrong address? I thought you had the address. Shit. Look at. Let's look at the data map. Wait a second, guys. This is me, Doctor Friend. Hey. I, uh, where were you? I just watching that whole scene at Hank's bar. I thought this was a cool mission, and I just kind of sit back and just let you guys handle it. I didn't this, feel like there was any reason for me to interject. This pervert named Hank gave us a date. I, I, I saw the whole thing. I was right there. So I watched Hank, the shit. Hank, I watched the more massive shit. I heard about the thing. But you never said anything when Mercy Why was do I, I mean, you know my part of my character is just keeping it cool. <laughs> Pitching in when I got something. I don't, so, d- I don't we, speak to speak. Spencer, we got the right address right to the... To the, to the this, well, the, no. <laughs> I, uh, I actually plugged it in. This is a musical academy. Kind of like a school of rock. <laughs> I, I think we oh, need to practice. So we're going to learn We're gonna learn music first to, get to learn the musical codes? Uh, look, uh, I told you I didn't uh, speak up there because I figured you guys would all be on board oh, with this. Dr. Friend, that's a good idea because we, we, we can't go into that building without knowing the music. Yeah. Yeah. We got to learn how to do music We together. could try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we could try. Um, well, I, I, I walk, you know, manfully, womanfully through, uh, through the front doors of the, of the musical academy building. You do that. You find several small children staring at you creepily. Throw I, mashed potatoes at them. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, kids. That's a callback. That's what they call a callback. Hey, kids. I'm, I'm entering, too. Hey, kids, I heard you could teach us how to sing. That, that might be true. We need to learn how to, uh, t- to perform. Look, kids, how old are you all? Av- seven. Seven average age? Look, we're bad, we're bad shatter runners. We... We mostly Speak just for do, yourself. Now we all Speak for your We've done nothing but make mistakes. That's true. Um, I think it's time for us to admit that maybe kids could teach us how to fucking like work in harmony together. So kids, maybe you t- why that your groans are misplaced. <laughs> I'm on their side. I I feel like we need to, we, we need these children to teach us. So I I as I for one, if we want this these MP3s to reunite humanity through music through, through the good old days. Thank you for recapping. Thank you. Um, kids, um, where, where do we start our education? We what? should probably show them what we got. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so we, we should... We're, we're. And then let them adjust us. Yeah. Because you never know. Maybe, maybe we get it right the first time. When your shadow That's what we got. That's basically yeah. what. Holy oh, shit! That was great. Uh, what did the what did the, what did the kids think? Is that Clint? good? Is that good, kids? <laughs> we'll find out next time. Oh, all right. Well, we'll hear the kids' reaction when we do <laughs> <laughs> the next episode. Right. This episode has been brought to you by Paul Shear and Rob Hubel. Uh, download. Don't torrent. Yeah, uh, crash that show. Uh, dot com or you just go to Vimeo on demand and it's easy to buy stuff on Vimeo I know that may seem daunting to you but it's actually super easy yeah, or just I do it all the time let's hear for Rob Schraub everybody Rob Schraub <laughs> Spencer Crittenden I'm Jeff Davis Paul Shear, Rob Hubel your mayor Mr. Dan Harmon Chris Burroff, our director back there, Dustin Marshall, our producer, Zach, the audio maniac, and all of the fine people at Nerd Mount Mount Down. Melt. Nerd Mount. Nerd Mount Down. We did it again. Drive fast, take chances. We'll see you next time, everybody. Did you get any of that?
It's a good show. Feral Audio.